Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Hey monkey, can you hear me when I talk? Maybe if I don't, uh, <laughs> maybe if I mute the, so that I don't echo through everything. <laughs> cool. I just want, yeah, I, it's because I have the, uh, I have my, uh, my mod channel open watching it and I forgot to mute. So when I talk, it comes through, uh, my computer and then it comes back through my, my, uh, OBS. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I had to mute the channel, so that's fine. I'm just wondering where my players are. I got one player in my, uh, in my audio chat over on discord but he's not responding to me so i think he's getting something to eat <laughs> my other players haven't shown up yet so it could be brussels sprouts there's only one left on the plate if you want it And it's all gone now. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Getting ready to kick off the stream here whatever whatever brussels sprouts are the best don't even try it Hello. hey i have returned hey there they are all right i'm gonna be doing our old kick off the the intro music here in a second so it could just be you two i saw that figly mm -hmm. jumped online but i haven't seen him show up yet so i don't know if he's here yet or not all right. Um, streams live now. You said. Yeah, it's we're in the okay. We're in the standby mode, but getting ready to kick off. All right, that works. As long as it is live, I can sync up to my TV with it. Yeah. All right. Just okay. getting ready to kick off here. All right. Uh, exit YouTube. Come on, close. Okay. Eat. Let's see if I can get this done. <clears throat> oh. Probably should have kicked off the uh, the music earlier, but I was busy. And then monkey <clears throat> monkey boogers out in chat side track me. So here we go. Twitch parent. Parentland is spelled two R's, right? Yeah. Parentland. Yep. I have to do some assigned backwards method of finding your stream so I can put it on my TV because phones don't stream Twitch very well without the app and I don't have any space for the app. Perfect. Have y'all been having forward. problems with D&D &D Beyond, or is it just me? I haven't no. had yet. I keep getting an error. I don't know if maybe it's just our pie hole just eating. Just... Okay, well, oh, I, got just... a, I got a D-level background. Okay, no, sorry. Edit. Random Edit. language. Don't break. I need to get it back to level two. Don't break. Don't break. Thank you. Yeah, it just keeps trying to break on me. I don't know what the problem is. I've never done anything wrong in my life, so, you know. Seems silly. This looks Russian. Not Russian, German. Oh. Uh... That's the Twitter page. Yeah, you... I do want to go to the Twitter page. Oh, English. It's English now. English is important. Mm -hmm. 
speak up. It's important for things to be in English. So, what? Well, D and D Beyond seems to have stabilized finally. Yay! There we go. It just did not like that I had tried to look at what would happen when my character levels up and choose a monastic tradition. Like it didn't like that for whatever reason. <laughs> like it was like, no, you're gonna be level two forever, and, and you're never gonna know. We are officially live. We have made Love it. To we have made it. Thank you for everybody that could uh, join us tonight. For those that don't mm -hmm. know, I am Sean, your host for this evening, bringing you together with some of the finest gamers that the interwebs has to offer, in particular the 5e crowd. I'd like to welcome you all. I see there's a few people out in chat already tonight. Um, we are going to be a couple players short, but that's okay, uh, because really the important two players are here. Um, and yep, that, best two. <laughs> yep, and that would be Hyacinth and Nalo. So, um, yeah, so appreciate you guys for showing up tonight. Um, first things first, uh, if you were looking for a Monday stream, I do apologize. We had sort of a, I don't want to say a family emergency. It was more of an academic emergency. And unfortunately, I was not able to get pulled away from that mm -hmm. academic emergency with my son until well past mm -hmm. game start. So we just elected to not <clears throat> not stream, tried to get one set up for Tuesday, but it just didn't happen. So unfortunately, um, if you were looking for our 1E game on Monday, I do apologize. Um, it was just sort of literally <clears throat> like an hour before the, the stream was supposed to start. I kind of got sucked into that. So um, last time, I apologize. Uh, but we're here tonight, and so that's what matters. Um, for those that have not been following us, or if you're new, um, we do this every other Friday um, is our 5e game. Every week is our 1e game. Um, our 5e game, obviously called Perrinland Adventures, set in the world of Greyhawk in the northern uh, reaches of mm -hmm. Perrinland. Um, and just as a recap from last week, um, our party... Um, having sort of completed their mission of delivering uh, young Erin Gilly to the church in order to help cure her of her lycanthropy, <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, have since, <clears throat> man, I got something stuck in my, I think it's a Brussels sprout, so I'm eating monkey. <clears throat> it's giving me like a frog <laughs> in my throat. <laughs> um, they have taken it upon themselves to investigate and search what the heck is going on with this rather large totem that they came in possession of. Um, <clears throat> this totem, after a little bit of research, you have found that it was indeed the ancient sturgeon blood uh, totem, which back in the days of the Urflan thousands of years ago, they used the powers of this totem to subjugate mm -hmm. the people of the land. Uh, the land is what Perrinland used to be called back in the day before it uh, became its various um, states and tribes sort of gathered together under one banner um, ruled by the uh, uh, by the Hetman, uh, which is basically the president uh, of the country. So um, mm -hmm. you guys uh, found that two of the the four magical totems that go on this totem pole have already been in place. The first being the hair of a Medusa um, and the other being a basilisk's eye. These two items were part of the totem when you found it and the two missing pieces were a wyvern claw and a yeti's tooth. And the script that you found in the form of an ancient scroll or a poem led you to Dagavox. Dagavox being an ancient uh, source of power. It was a town slash citadel, fortress, whatever you want to call it, that sits right on the edge of Lake Quag, which is to the south of Trask, which is where you guys were. And so having traveled here by way of teleportation from the Mages Guild, um, you have worked your way throughout Dagovok itself. And in the in the town as we sort of zoom out here for for everybody to see um, mm. in these ruined towns you have investigated a few of the buildings 
Um, in one of them, you found a, a ghost of a candle maker who asked for your help. And after helping him battle off numerous shadows, um, he gave to you a golden candle. Um, mm -hmm. And so a little more investigation, um, you found that there was another shopkeep who probably was a ghost as well. And he was, I believe it was the metal worker that you guys yeah. saw in there. And he asked for your aid as well, but you sort of refused him and, and left to continue investigating the town. Um, the last, uh, you, you went to the entry of what you believe is the temple it's the in the center of the of the mm -hmm. south part of town is this massive black edifice that is so black that it's literally it doesn't even reflect sunlight that's how dark and inky black it is it's almost as if the light gets sucked into it like a black hole and nothing comes back and nothing gets reflected back you investigated the steps leading up into this temple doors which were large, huge iron edifices um, covered in this sort of a inky black goo grime gunk and clearing off some of it, you found two symbols. They, one of them being a an upside down um, uh, pyramid and the other being sort of like a spiraling eye. And you recall or one of you recalled that these were symbols for an ancient deity whose name is not spoken um, out loud because of, of the, the fear that just saying his name would cause parts of him to appear and um, he's basically the god of entropy known as Therizden and uh, this deity is sort of like the uh, think of them as the Cthulhu deities, right? Sort of lurking in the shadows, um, seeking to destroy and drive mad any who would worship him. Mm -hmm. And apparently, um, back in the day, it was his power that destroyed Dagavak. And the legend says that although there were worshipers here that worshiped him, he felt that they weren't worshiping him enough. Um, and so he ended up destroying this place. And it is, in fact, a twisted, horrid place, um, extremely silent as if there is no life living here. Although you have battled creatures, including, like I said before, the shadows. You've also battled a pair of creatures that were look like a, a conglomeration of a of a bear and a gorilla, um, mm -hmm. just fiendish, fiendish beasts. Um, but you managed to overcome it all. And, and lastly, as you guys were um, ex, uh, exploring the town, uh, the last place that we left off was this building where you now stand outside is some sort of a tavern or an inn known as Cleric's Rest is what the, the sign outside says. You went inside and investigated, found a lot of people and skeletons and stuff standing just as if they were any other night at the bar at the club um they were those skeletons were just literally standing there as if they died right where they stood and were unable uh, or, or their bodies just rotted right mm -hmm. where they stood and so investigating you found nothing really um of interest here um but um you guys did uh like i said manage to finish sort of investigating that area and last but not least the only other thing of note that really happened last session was we've gained a new party member a new young gnome by or a, a, a gnome whether he's young or not is uh, completely up to you by the name of figly and figly has since joined the group um uh, in order to uh, in his words prove that others were wrong about him and that he can in fact take care of himself and do what needs to be done in the world of adventuring so that is sort of a recap on what happened last session mm -hmm. um, so uh, before we really get kicked off I do want to invite everybody please click that like button or if you if you will the uh, the follow um, just click it, hit the little bell, make sure that you guys get notified whenever we come online. You can also follow mm -hmm. us on Twitter and or uh, um, uh, Discord. 
um, please, I ask you guys just sort of, you know, check us out. Um, if you're missing any of our videos, we do upload every one of our videos to YouTube. So we do have a YouTube channel. You can find us just by clicking the YouTube channel button um, down in the about section. Um, tonight, um, I also want to bring to your attention a new group. We're not necessarily new, but a group that's out on YouTube called the Gray League. Um, if you haven't seen any of their videos, these guys are awesome. They're, they're a channel that's dedicated to making production and professional quality videos about the world of Greyhawk. And so they've done things like um, uh, my favorite ones so far have been uh, the the videos that they've done on the various races like the Iridian and the Sewell. Um, I think they've got all of the races now. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I am actually going to give them a shout out. Um, I forgot to put them in my, I have a ro little rotation thing. As you watch the uh, stream, you'll see that I have things coming out, uh, little shout outs here and there. I meant to add them to my shout out list, but they will get on there because uh, the Gray League, um, if you go over to YouTube and just search the Gray League, you can't miss them. Um, I highly recommend their videos, especially if you're into the Greyhawk scene. Go check them out. Um, they're looking to get themselves uh, over a thousand subscribers. Um, so I subscribe to them, been to subscribe to them for a while. Um, I don't know if they've reached a thousand or not, but if they've reached a thousand, then let's hit for two thousand, right? Because these guys deserve it um, because everything that they do is, is top notch quality work. So, anyway, with all of that being said, uh, how you guys doing, man? How was your week? Doing all right, doing all right. Yep. Um, Didn't and, do a lot, you know. Yep. How's, uh, how's life in the uh, the great uh, northwest, Kaylee? Uh, it's been it's been uh, dry. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've Lucky. gone yeah, no, quite, no. We get all the Seattle rain. You guys sent it all down to yeah. us. Yeah, people were like, I hope you like rain. And I'm like, I haven't seen quite a bit of rain yet this summer. I'm just saying it's been like. Actually, I think we might have gotten some rain this morning and we're due for rain tomorrow, but still. Yeah. And then on Monday, I have a vacation. So, nice. yeah, it's going to get hot here and it's going to be just as hot here as it's going to be in North Carolina. So, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. so I'm not going to be missing much. Yeah, cool. All right, what about you? Tuesday, Jake? I was working in... I'm doing all right. Tuesday, I was working in the rain. And... Wednesday, I wasn't working in the rain, but there was a nice little miss, a nice little missing every now and then, so I kept the air nice and cool. And we were up in Mount Verde, so not as bad, not as bad um sauna effects. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I know Jacob, you were having issues, um, or tonight you were going to have an issue with Astral or or whatever it was with the dice stuff. Um, so just make sure that, um, you are able to, to roll your dice cause you can do it from beyond yes. and it'll show up in discord as well. So I just want to make sure that, uh, that you're square. Um, in order for that to happen, I have to have both pages open. Even in discord? Oh, no, no. I, I don't, I don't think I can use astral and, no, um, no, 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 no. I'm just oh. saying I, I meant D and D beyond, right? So you can click beyond if you click. Oh yeah. No, no, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I don't need. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm all set up. Uh, I, I got a stream coming through one of my phones onto my TV so I can see my map. Yep. Okay. And I have I have the old Beyond app on that phone as well, so I can multitask okay. that. And then I have the mm -hmm. phone call. I have the, the voice call on the other one with Discord yeah. open, so I can just put in my um, put them here, put in here my little commands. Yeah. And prompt Avre to do what she's told to do. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure because, like I said, if if with Avre, um, when you import your D and D Beyond character, if you click on your character sheet on D and D Beyond, it'll send it to Discord. All right. So. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I don't have that option because gotcha. my my computer's broke right now. Oh. Okay. Well, even on your yeah. phone. Yeah. Like I said, I'm using both my phones to make this work, and I can make it work. Okay. Uh, I I can as you saw up earlier, I can do the two handed sword even. Okay. Sure. Um. Yeah. So you it'll just have to um you know manually input my initiative and stuff like that but yeah, i no, can that's fine yep. yeah all I mean, my roles all my roles will be going the campaign okay um so just so you guys are aware um i don't know where figley's at he's supposed to be playing it shows him being online on discord but <clears throat> i don't see him in channel anywhere so we're gonna proceed without him um we are also <clears throat> missing um mercy um as well as uh, uh um as well as Pavistro, who had a last second um, family issue that uh, we hope all is well. But unfortunately, um, it is just going to be you guys. So until 
till Figley shows up, but it's just going to be the two of you, which is fine by me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't really have a problem with it unless you know if you guys have a problem, just let me know. Um, no, we're good. I, I messaged Austin; he'll be here soon. Yeah, yeah, I know he will. Yeah, because I, I sent him a text too, but he never. I'm, I'm his dad, so he's not oh, going to respond. Speaking the devil. He's not. Hello. He never responds to me, so um, I'm glad that Kaylee did. So I'm just on Discord I instead of texting him. me. Yeah, I well, messaged I, him I, on Discord, which yeah. I saw he was on, so yeah. I figured that would work. Yeah, I saw him, <laughs> but uh, I um, I texted you before I saw you were on Discord, and I just went over to Discord because I don't usually keep my Discord open when we're gaming. Uh, I just keep it minimized and stuff. So cool. All right. So like I said, then it's going to be the three of you. So um, who wants mm-hmm. to who wants to run Previsco? Not it. <laughs> uh, if you guys, I mean, I'll tell you what. How about I, this? I can. I'll just. I'll roll their dice for them. You guys just. They are going to. Uh, Pervisco and Mercy are going to be zombie characters I, tonight. Um, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't see Pervisco's D and D sheet in the campaign. Like really? for whatever reason, he's just like not listed. But he is there if I go to the campaign page. I know that's. I've seen that before too. It's kind of strange. That yeah, he do that. he's just like. Yeah, He's just unavailable. D&D Beyond so, is being know. a turd. So. Yeah. Okay. It's just him. I can see Mercy I know, and Figley. I know. It's, as I said, I, I oh. don't understand it. Maybe it's something with his character sheet or something. So. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he's got like some kind of privacy settings going on or something. Quite Who knows? possibly. So, um, as I explained, um, Figley, before mm-hmm. you arrived, I just kind of gave a recap from last session. Um, the biggest, mm-hmm. The biggest thing is basically that you guys have just completed sort of investigating the interior of this, mm-hmm. um, the, uh, the cleric's rest, which was apparently some kind of an, a tavern or an inn with a tavern in it mm-hmm. down below. Um, you guys did a search, didn't really find anything. Again, the most unusual, scary thing, if you will, or unnerving thing is all of these skeletons that you guys have found throughout this whole place, right? The first, the first uh, building that Figley went into uh, was some kind of a barracks or, or of some kind, and all of the soldier skeletons were all just standing there, um, and uh, they were literally just skeletons until one of them mm-hmm. fell over and knocked a few more over and caused a ruckus that way. But it's the way it's been this entire place. It's like um, I think of it as Pompeii, where they all got hit by this massive blast of something, and they all just died where they stood. Um, or laid, as the case may be, for the people that were up in bed upstairs. So, um, with all of this um, being said, what do we want to do now? What do we, what do we intend to do? What do we want to do? Well, we, um, we hmm. need to collect some items. It sounds like in order to open up this door. Yeah, Perhaps we should start we... with that blacksmith that we found earlier with his uh, what was it knockers. Did we finish our, our route around the town, though? I don't think we no, you explored have not. eight No, you before. have not. No, nope. you guys, um, you came down the left-hand side as I zoom out here. Yeah. Uh, you guys came out and the left-hand side. we went on the bottom. Side. Yep, and you, were, mm-hmm. you did all along the bottom. You also did over at number 12, and then you went mm-hmm. into, uh, at least I think you did 12. Let me double check just to, to see what that building was. It'll jog my memory whether or not you guys actually investigated that. Uh, okay, uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, so that particular building, although it's structurally semi-standing, most of it has been destroyed. So mm-hmm. you guys did look at that and didn't find anything. You went to yeah. the church, and that's sort of where we left off. Yeah, we left off here at um, 10. So we could keep our little go around town and make sure that right. we're going the right way. So, yeah. we can, so we're going around town. Yeah, so we should going probably around head town over first, to and then we're going to deal with these little tasks that these uh, ghosts are giving yeah, us. We only know of one more task right now, and so I mean, let's just go to eight, six, and four just to be safe. Okay. Because I mean, Very we well. know where he is. He's in what? Not, was it? It was was it nine or it was like nine or eleven? I don't really remember off the top of my head. I'm sure it's in my notes. Yeah. But, um, yeah. We actually, in um, you guys, there were two. I believe mm-hmm. um, uh, you guys found uh, in area seven, there was mm-hmm. the metal worker. Um, and he was the one I believe that said something along mm-hmm. the lines of um, he needed help with, with some creature 
out. Yeah, back. and I told him. Was and it? I told him I'd be right back. Yeah. He has no concept of time. It's fine. Yeah. And then, <laughs> um, what was the other one? Let me. The candle maker, you mean? We already did the candle maker. Yeah, yeah. You did the candle maker, which was. I'm, I'm sorry. There was a butcher, but he was not alive. Like yeah. he wasn't a ghost. He was just yeah. standing there. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, you're right. The only one you found wasn't was number seven. You did the candle yeah. maker, who was like three or something like that up top, and then mm -hmm. the the uh, yeah that was a uh, no not a locksmith um, not a locksmith. It was a, a candle maker, and then you did the metal worker was mm -hmm. an area like number seven, and then nine and eleven cool. were just sort of empty kind of buildings and stuff like that, um, and then mm -hmm. you checked out fourteen, which is the temple itself. Area thirteen looked. Uh, the remains of barracks of some kind, mostly empty and destroyed. Mm -hmm. Area 12 was an old house of some kind, destroyed. Uh -huh. Area 10 you just searched was the uh, cleric's rest, which is the tavern. Mm -hmm. And now yeah. you guys are moving on from there. Yeah, we can move over to 8, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Eight. going on that way. So, Sounds good. All right. So you guys continue to move your way around. I'll move everybody up there for you. Or if you want to move yourselves, and I can move the other ones that can't move themselves, whichever you guys want to do. But, um, that's fine. Yep. So moving your way um, around, you see that this is um, another shop. Look, looks to be some kind of a shop. Um, uh, it, it's like some of the others, although it is destroyed, um, It it's sort of more stand up or than than the others right um and then when you look in um you can see that um where the living area is toward the back you can see that uh it looks like a family is having dinner and they're just sitting around the table with all of the skeletons um sort of looking like they're some of them are like have their uh, utensils up toward their mouths like they're getting ready to eat other ones are sort of holding glasses up and it literally looks like they just stopped what they were doing and stopped in time and then over a period of thousands of years or however long it's been their bodies have this decayed to leave nothing but skeletal remains as well mm -hmm. as the rotting remains of the food and drink that have, well the drinks all evaporated but the re rotting remains of uh of a food um, on the tables over in the corner you can see that there is another skeleton um, standing over a fireplace it's he's got some kind of a metal poker in its hand as if they was doing something with the fire but obviously there is no fire there anymore cool Creeping. do you want to look around real quick and make sure there's um, yeah let's look around cool? yep all right, so um, investigation of perception. All right, really quick, one one note. I did I did take that back. Remember, you guys did see two. You saw the metal worker guy, and you saw a butcher. Mm -hmm. I told you we saw the butcher. Yep. We saw the butcher, but he wasn't a ghost. Uh, well, you're right. Well, from what you saw, it didn't mm -hmm. look like he was a ghost, right? But but seven, area mm -hmm. seven and area of nine. Yeah, seven was a metal worker. Nine was the butcher. Correct. Okay, I just, I knew you had seen, I was like, I know I've seen another one, but okay. Um, so investigation for, mm -hmm. uh, are you guys going inside or are you staying Look around inside? outside first. Okay, go ahead and give me a. Um, uh, the figly roll that because I'm no longer the smartest person in the group. <laughs> Were you ever? No, just kidding. I was. No, no, he was, he was. <laughs> He was. I was the smartest oh. person in the group as the fighter. All right. Um, so uh, Figley sort of searches around, um, and you really find nothing other than the the remains of everything that mm -hmm. um, the remains of all the uh, uh, skeletons and stuff inside. Outside, it's just like everything else you've seen so far. 
looks like there's mm -hmm. scorch marks on the building. Part of the walls and the sea, uh, the roof have, have collapsed. Um, mm -hmm. The upper story, or not the upper story, but the, uh, the where the roof where the fireplace comes out, all of those stones and stuff have long since sort of fallen away, um, leaving you know debris and whatnot and, and rocks and stuff laying along the side of the building. Uh, windows have long since been busted out um, by whatever storms or, or whatever uh, may be roaming through this area. But um, other than that, you really don't find anything. It's always good to double check. On to the next one. Uh, should we go inside then? Do There's nothing outside. Know. It hmm. appears everything has just been rotted away, and uh, I'm uh, not sure if we'd find anything inside. But quite frankly, I don't want to find out. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go to the next next place. Okay. Okay. You guys... Yeah, let's move on to six. Okay. I will zoom this in a little bit so we can kind of see our characters. Since. So, again, as you guys slowly traipse your way um, across the uh, uh, across the the rocky, um, you can see, you know, the remains. Uh, for those that haven't seen these, uh, heard these before, there's these trees that run the the length of the entire town from the the center uh, all the way down to the gates. Um, long since any leaves or whatnot uh, no longer remain on those trees. They're just sort of uh, half twisted and turned in and amongst themselves as if some deity just took the trees and as, as a whim just sort of twisted them um, into all manner of shapes and whatnot. So some branches are growing down, some are growing up, others grow sideways. Um, just giving an, a very eerie appearance. Uh, the crunch of the ground beneath your feet is the only sound that sort of permeates this whole area um, where you guys uh, tread. As you uh, work your way across um, to area six, you can find that um, there is hanging outside, um, there is a sign that says um, Bilius Kravitz locksmith hanging on the front door um, the door itself is there but it's only hanging on one hinge cool a locksmith shall we go in uh, yep um nyla will nudge the door open see if anyone's in there and then go in all the way if there's no one or yeah. okay as you enter the shop this sort of this eerie sort of feeling of being watched overcomes you and it sort of causes the hairs on the back of your neck just to sort of rise up ever so slightly tickling you and causing you to give a slight shudder the shop itself got a bad feeling about this the shop itself looks to be about 70 feet long and 50 feet wide and around the walls are boards with many different kinds of keys, large, small, etc., that are hanging on various um, size hooks. Um, mm -hmm. To the right of the door, as you sort of poke your head in, is a bench. And in the center of the room is a gaping hole in the floorboards, about 15 feet long, 10 feet wide. Uh, behind the bench on the right, you can see a man bending over what looks to be some kind of a machine, and there's little sparks coming off from the metal as he appears to be fashioning a key. Um, he, he doesn't even seem to notice you, um, but you can see that he's like in, engraving or, or carving something, some kind of an intricate pattern uh, onto this key that he is fashioning. Um, what is your, what's your passive perception, uh, Melo? Uh, I believe that is a 10. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and give me then. Um, go ahead. Senses. Uh, passive intelligence investigation is a 12. Okay, passive perception. Passive perception is a 10. Okay, so let's see. Passive perception. That was a 10. Okay, go ahead and give me a perception check then. Go ahead and roll perception. That's a 15. 
That would be a 15 for you. All right, cool. Yep, I see it. Um, so, unfortunately, for those that, that are watching, uh, Nalo is, is unable to roll into our chat, so you can't see. So, you just have to take our word that she rolled a 15. Um, so My as computer you, broke. Yeah. So, as you're, looking, as you're looking at this figure sort of hunched over and um, he's working on this key, he sort of turns a little bit, and you could swear that you could see light passing through him as if he's almost incorporeal, when all of a sudden it sort of goes away and he looks a little more solid as the light sort of hits him a different way and he turns again and you notice that certain parts of his body look to be almost transparent and he goes back to the other direction again and, and it goes so it's sort of that sort of effect as he is uh, uh, again as he's uh, uh, working on this key I'm going to look I'm going to glance around the room one more time, then I'm going to focus on the bench, and I'm just going to slip inside and sit on the bench. Okay, you're going to go in and, and sit on the bench. Um, so as soon as uh, you walk in, he, he sort of he gives a start as if um, uh, he had never seen you coming. Um, and he's going, ah! Oh! You, you, you come at last. Please, please, do not apologize for being late. Just help me get rid of these blasted creatures which live in that freaking hole on my floor. And he sort of points to the to the hole I previously described, this big gaping hole in the floor. It's like 15 by 10 foot wide. They come up here, scatter my keys everywhere, then go back down in their hole. You know, they, I see... I, I think they take great pleasure in, in making my keys dance about the room. It's all they live for. I know that if I don't hide, they will certainly kill me, and I cannot live like this. I tell you, I can't continue to live like this. I must finish my work. If you lure them out and kill them for me, I'll give you the silver key your master's paid for. Uh, there's some creatures in the hole. Would you uh, uh mind describing them a bit better, perhaps? Flying snakes with sharp tails. Ah. Um, want me to roll an arcane or a nature or arcana or nature to determine what that was, um, what those are? I would say give me a nature check, please. Nature. Nice. That's a 22. Nicely done. Um, you've I'm a smart fork. <laughs> you have actually heard of these these creatures, these aberration type things that were were probably the result of some, as all aberrations tend to be, some arcane ancient experiment. Um, and you and so in your studies, as you uh, during the wartime. Um, uh, because you were always dealing with Ayus and all of the fiends and everything, you heard stories of, of ancient creatures that, that fit the description um, that, that he gave you. And, and basically, they're called ravids. And, and so they're able to, they, they, they kind of, you don't know if it's because they fly or they can just magically float due to some innate ability or whatever it is, but um, they're very nasty, very wicked things um, with super sharp claws and like this spiny tail um, that when they strike you, it's like, like getting struck with a blade. Um, so, yeah, so. Um, Are they toxic? Um are they toxic or like poisonous or whatever like, do they have a do, yeah do they have a venom or poison effect um uh not really like a venom or a poison um let's see uh it's do i have to make a con save to avoid taking extra effects <laughs> <laughs> no um but basically okay. <laughs> um basically though um if they hit you um they don't, whatever damage they do to you, they don't like take it all in themselves, but they can, they seem to partially heal by doing damage to oh. you. Okay, so they got a lifesteal. All right. Yeah, it's kind of like a lifesteal in the sense that, you know, you do damage, but they, they get, they get um, health back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm like, okay. All right. Um. How did you, how did, how, how, how do you, how did they, what usually triggers their arrival? It's almost like a random, uh, I, I make my keys and I, and I hang them up and, and then next thing I know they come out and they just, they start throwing them around everywhere and then I have to go get them again and have to remake them again. It's just, you really need to take care of these. All right, let me go grab my compatriots right outside. I'll be right back. Okay. 
I'm gonna step out the door. And I'll look down at the hyacinth and figly. Alright, another ghost. Do we want to handle this issue now? Uh, he's supposed to give us a silver key for getting rid of some... Rabbit or Ravid? Ravid. R-A-V-I-D. Ravid. They're a... Uh, for the, and those not in the know, they are a flying snake with sharp tails. With some... Life-absorbing properties upon hits. Mm. They heal their wounds. Mm. Well, I, I don't think one, anyone would like the sound of those horrible creatures. Uh, however, uh, it does seem that we need to collect some kind of MacGuffin in order to progress, and a silver key does seem kind of MacGuffin-like. It does. We also yes, only have yes. one more house, so we can always... That is true. So you Come want back. to wait? Yeah, I mean, again, they're ghosts. Right. I don't know if their, pass their uh, passage of time skills is great, anyway. And you said we'd be All back, right. so we'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna poke my head back in the door. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. Um, what? What? No, for this no, no, please! No, you must take care well, of the men! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need more supplies to ensure that they are all removed. We'll be back in like 10 minutes, Mac. We're gonna like go, he, like we're he gonna knows go what grab the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Give me a deception check. It's not a me? deception. We will be back. Oh, okay. All right. Give me a performance <laughs> yes. check. Unless your, <laughs> performance unless your deception check. is good. <laughs> Shit. All right. Here we go. Perform. All right. I would say it's Nice. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Are you, are, 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 do you promise? I can't, yes, I, can't sir. I can't continue to live like this, I'm telling you. We will, I do assure we you, we be will back. be back. And as you okay. go to leave, as they go to leave, he suddenly ignores you and goes right back to his key. It's almost as if, like, somebody reset a play, and he goes right back to his key, and he starts carving on a key. See, I told you, ghosts. Bad right, I'm curious. I'm gonna... Let's go. Uh, I want to kind of, I want to step back in the door to see what happens. No, we have other shit to do. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right fine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. They've already been through enough. All right, so we're heading up to four, I assume. Cool. To four, yep. All right. Do do do. I'm gonna move the two that I can move. You guys can move yourselves. Well, I'll move Nalo too because. I'm nice. about to say, I can't move either. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. I'm moving me. I'm moving me. Right, there so... I go. Look at me go. Yes. I'm in a wall. Yes, you are. You're in a wall. There we go. I've moved. I've moved. Um, All right. Um, so you guys move up. You said you're going to area four, right? Um, yep. Yes. So once again, um, you guys uh, are looking at uh, the remains of some kind of a ruined shop or, or it could have been a stables or maybe a blacksmith of some kind. Um, the, the side that's facing the back wall of the, of the town um, is more of a, a living structure and this, the, the one where um, uh, on the right, uh, the, the long uh, L piece is, is more, looks to be some kind of a stables or like I said, maybe a blacksmith. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, other than that, um, looking from the outside, that's that's pretty much all you guys can see. It is, again, a ruined shop, partially collapsed, but still partially standing, um, a single story. Uh, there's an entry door as well as on the end uh, where uh, Hyacinth is standing. Um, there's a large set of wooden double doors that are kind of half hanging on hinges and stuff leading to the interior. Um but yeah, so that's that's the about the extent of what you guys can see. Hmm. All right, should I poke my head in again? Sounds like a plan. All right, she's gonna poke her head in this one too. All right. Um. So looking inside, you can see that um, uh, there are a couple of skeletons standing inside, as if they are in the middle of doing something, and then just stopped. Um, another quick look in the stable like area, um, you can see that there are stalls running all the way down a total of 30 of them all the way between both sides. There's 30 stalls and every single one has the skeleton of a horse standing there, um, as if they just stood there and died. 
and nobody has bothered them since. Um, so even the animals were killed. Sheesh. Um, do I? Um, I probably need roll perception. Do I spot anything? Um, important in here. Uh, I don't know. Do a, do me an investigation. Oh, Oh, investigation? Oh, oh you, um, you give that a plus two. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, give that a plus two for investigation. Um, yeah, so um, you look, um, it, you, it's very eerie as you're sort of looking um, at all of oh, these stuff. just the rest of the town. Stuff. Um, and you, again, you sort of look where the horses are um, and you stop for a second and you look because you swear one of the horse's heads just sort of turned slightly. And then you move back and not quite sure did it move or not. But as you sit there and watch it, nothing else happens. So you're pretty nope. sure. That... Okay. Um, I have no interest in fighting some skeleton horses, so I'm going to back out and close the door. Okay. You guys watch as Bailo yep, nope. comes out and closes the, closes the barn doors. I'll, I'll call them barn doors for, for lack of a better term closes the barn doors and sort of jumps back uh, with you guys. Uh, um, seems a little on edge. Yep, not doing that. Next no one. Go no ghosts? No All ghosts right. and possible aggressive skeleton horses. I don't like that. So, do no. we want... Where do we want to so, do for? Well, the key maker is right there. So, let's just go I handle do. the key maker. And I guess that's for the best. Let's go. Okay. Uh, lizards. Flying lizard things. <laughs> uh, the flying snakes. Hasn't, yeah, hasn't whatever. Bad. All right. My nature is not good. I'm going to save Just lizards. try not to get hit. Once again, you guys slowly work mm -hmm. your way back to the uh, to the key makers. Let's see what he... Yeah, let's see his reaction first before we go around saying, hey, we're yes. back. So real, quick, so, real quick before we get into this, I want to remind everybody mm -hmm. out there, if you haven't already signed up to join our our, uh, our raffle at the end of the night, please do so. Just exclamation point random. Get mm -hmm. yourself a, a chance to uh, pick the next random encounter that these guys are going to have to uh, meet up for on the, the next session. Also, if you're earning out there and you're watching and you're earning coins, feel free to um spend some of those coins to buy our players natural ones and natural 20s if you do that they'll be able to use them throughout this session um, yes appreciated and, and note that they have to have them ahead of time we discussed this last week and we all came to a consensus that um it took away a little bit of the mystery of the game where if the character went down and then somebody tried to give them a nat 20 or a nat 1 after the fact. So if you're going to give it to them, please make sure they get it before the action occurs. Otherwise, they're going to have, they can get it. They can still have it, obviously, but they won't be able to use it until next time. They won't be able to use it to bail themselves out of a failed roll or something. Next oh, turn or next combat, next round? Next, the, uh, your next turn. They have you have to have it ahead. Okay. And and, and, yeah. again, and again, it's kind of it stemmed back to what happened when Hyacinth went down twice and somebody saved her twice, right? Yeah. At, it was after the fact, right? If she would have had that mm -hmm. twenty sided, you know, she goes down the first time, somebody gives her a twenty sided, mm -hmm. yeah. And then somehow she comes back. If she goes down again, then she would have that dice, right? But it, no, it doesn't. It, it's not mm -hmm. like no, it's immediately used yeah. after, but it can't be something to retcon something that already yeah. happened right so that makes we can sense. only if the rolls already happened we're not that is correct we're not you. applying See, it. you are so much more concise than i am so you're the wordsmith so you guys make it what i do yep yeah, you guys make it back to um the key maker wasn't that a spell miri took what's hmm? that wasn't that a spell or a class feature miri had was wordsmith oh i don't i don't know no, I think I was just a college of lore bard. <laughs> hey, I'm just a bard. What's up, Shane? How you doing, Space man? Space citizen. What's up, random individual? How are you doing today? Yep. That would be mm -hmm. Shane. What's up, my brother? Yeah. So if y'all got points, now is probably the time to use them because yeah. we're likely to be... Yes, please. <laughs> give us all of the natural ones you can afford. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That way we can make Sean's life miserable like he does to us sometimes. You guys are standing back outside the locksmith, mm -hmm. um, getting so, ready to enter in. Who's going in and what are we doing? 
Uh, Nyla will go in first just to see how he reacts to us to, to me returning to him. Okay. Um, once again, you enter into the shop, and this eerie feeling, just like a cold chill, runs down your neck, down your back, causing it to tighten you once again, an involuntary shiver. Even though you've been through this before, it's weird that it, it, it happens again. And once again, yeah, you can okay. s- you, once again, you can see the, the locksmith keymaker hunched over, sort of working on this key that he was working on the last time that you came in. Doesn't seem to notice you. But as soon as you step in a little further, he sort of starts and he looks at you and he's, ha ha, you've come at last. Please, please don't apologize for being late. Just help me get rid of those blasted creatures which live down that hole in my floor. And he points once again to the hole. They come up here, scatter my keys everywhere, and then go back, go back down in their hole. They seem to take great pleasure in making my keys dance about the room as if that's all they seem to live for. I know also that if I don't hide, they will kill me. I know they will, so I have to hide every time. And I can't live like this, I tell you. I cannot live like this. But if you lure them out and kill them for me, I promise I will give you the silver key your masters paid for. Yes, yes. All right, we will go ahead. Um, how are we supposed to lure them out again, was it? Oh, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't ever seem to lure them on purpose. Why would I lure them on purpose? That's okay. your job. Your, your masters wanted the key. Now you take well, care of those, and I can give you your master's key. How? When do they normally appear then? Oh, uh, random times. I, I. I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe it's when I'm hanging my keys up, or maybe it's because I get too close to the hole. Or I. I don't know. But I certainly am not going to do it on purpose. I tell you. Hey. All right. Very well. You appreciate that, Shane. Appreciate that. You are my hero. Well, sir, go mm-hmm. ahead and um, take some cover, and uh, the soldiers and I will handle this. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to presume he just disappears or goes into a back room or something. He actually goes and he hides down mm-hmm. behind the desk that he was standing. He's, as you see, it gotcha, sort of gotcha. crouch down there. So I'm gonna cool, cool, cool. poke my head out the door. I'm gonna turn back over to the door and I'll wave the urchin. Come on in, guys. Okay. Let's go some snakes. All right. All right. Uno. So they. Momento. So where where did they hang out? Oh, the they're hole? down the hole. Not they're down the hole. Just jingle oh. some keys, like they're toddlers. They'll come out. <laughs> Probably want to jiggle them over the hole. I can jingle some keys over a hole. It's fine. So you guys are up here. Yeah. I've been trying to make that freaking joke all night. What's since that? I heard a, a, a whole joke. I Since I heard you mention I've been trying to find a reason to make a stupid whole joke all night. <laughs> um, <laughs> <My> <laughs> I don't. If uh, I'm going to draw or attempt to draw something on the map here. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm gonna He's attempting go. something new. Oh no, guys, take cover. Stop it. Server might break. Stop it. Uh, no, you stop. Okay, whatever. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. You're not my mom. This is the one without a computer. Oops. Yeah. I'm making it work. I am improvising like any SMRT person would do. Alright, why is it not letting me? Let's go. There we go. All right. I'm going to do this. We want to do... Uh, careful not to hit the clear all drawings option or you'll wipe it off the map. Yeah, I know. I was just... So you're going to just have to deal with all of our colorful drawings for now. You're lucky I'm not on the computer. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just going to put this right here just because. So it seems like you're just erasing it because that, that seems like... Yep. That's exactly what I'm doing. So. Yeah, because it's given like the weird like overlay of like the loading screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. What like. I, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. It's so weird that it's like overlapping yeah. like that. Yeah. It's okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. you guys are. Uh, you you kind of look and you can see 
um, this whole um, disregard the curtain that's between between you and it. You can see this big hole um, in the middle of the floor. Um, you see that the the guy um, has sort of hidden over here behind the desk where he was working, um, leaving you guys alone to do what it is you need to do to bring these creatures up, whatever they are. All right, so I'm going to... You said there was a bunch of keys just sitting there somewhere? Um, yeah, he's got some that are on this table over here. Why? Wow, that's really not doing much to it, is there? Why is my... All right. That's weird that it's not doing when... it on this map. Usually it gives like a big, big thing, but this one didn't. But yeah, so... Um, I know, uh, Hyacinth and Figley are ready. I'm going to walk over and grab the keys off the table. Okay. And I'm going to look at the hole. Okay. And I'm going to walk over to the wall and go to hang some keys up on the wall. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself wherever you're going to do. Ah, yes. Oh. <laughs> I will move it with my mind. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You can see, so... so I can see. Right, I can so see, yeah. I just... I move you here. Is this fine, or where do you want to... Just consider these bench... Yeah, as I say, the, consider the, the benches to the left and to the right of you. Um... Not really there. there. There are benches, but there, there's like a work table, work bench or whatever, where he's got stuff sort of strewn. Okay, you moved me to the left or right side because I have a, apparently I have a really nasty delay on my TV. Really? Uh, ref can you refresh? <clears throat> because I moved you. Oh, oh, you're moving it now. You're moving it now. Yeah. Wow, that's really slow. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Um, that, that, that's cool. I'm just going to put one up on the wall right there, and if nothing comes out, I'm going to put up the next one. Okay. Um, so you have like five keys in your hand and you, you finally get sort of five of them hung up on this sort of peg hooks that he's got in there. Um, nothing seems to happen. Hmm. All right. So Figley's going to come over. Okay. And he's just going to take his 10 foot pole and he's just going to stick it in the hole, start shaking it around. All right. So you put your, your pole down there and you, you, it gets down probably, I don't know, maybe almost all the way into where your hand is like right toward the um, right like toward the, the floor. Yeah. And yeah. you're like sort of moving around. You can't feel anything solid down there. Suddenly bursting up out of the hole, these two flying snake-like creatures um, come flying. Let me. Yeah, oh, lovely. Here they are. Cool. There we go. Okay. As two of them Reels come, back yep. a bit. As, yeah, exactly. As two of them come come flying up, um, hissing, you can see that they've got, they're like flying snakes, but they have these really sharp stinger type tails. Um, their wings and their heads look almost dragon-like um, as they sort of hiss um, and attack. I need, first of all, initiative from everybody. But before that's we do... Um, uh, you say that, but I've already rolled. Okay. So. Do it. Oh, that's the wrong Oh, wait, no, that's my bonus. That was my initiative last time. Whoopsies. Pretty sure that 11 was my initiative last time. Yeah. Um, had a big fight. Uh, I am going to... Oh, there we go. We're teaching. Right. I rolled a 9. All right. Um, where? Why is it not letting me... He's not letting... Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's not letting me uh, assign it to combat. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it does. Okay. I forgot. Boom. There we go there. And there we go there. All right. So well, one flying snake got a 20. Um, I think there's something wrong. I, uh, I can't see those rolls. It's kind of weird. Uh, which rolls? I'm making a joke, but okay. Oh, uh, haha. -ha. See, don't confuse mm -hmm. me. All right. So... Figly got it for make sure it showed up. Yep, now I need I'm gonna roll for uh mercy. Why it's nice. And what did she get? Oh a nine. Yeah. I'm just, Ooh. I'm just same checking. as me. Yep, just checking to make sure. Why did it? It's yeah. still showing 11 in here, so. 
Oh well. Uh, it says it's my turn. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, no, it's not. So. Cause for some reason, when I when I do the reset combat, um, oh, uh -huh. that's why. I didn't. Uh, damn it! There we go. All right, so there we go. Everybody, go ahead and uh, I'm going to add the party. Go go go. And add from map uh, flying snake one and two. And I'm going to resign theirs because this was a 20. And this flying snake had a 10. Um, Nalo, you got a 2? No, I got a no, uh, 9. Oh, that's right, because you are, you're rolling in there. Okay. And let's see. Paviscro. Yeah, this is, this is why I hate having to play the other characters. And Paviscro is going to roll... And Pabisco gets 19. To, yep, it showed up. I wasn't sure his would show. All right, I think we got everybody now. So Pabisco is going to hang mm -hmm. back here. Um, Mercy comes running up to help. Hyacinth, I'm not sure what you what you want to do, but the first snake mm -hmm. um, is going to uh, attack Nalo. It, it gets two attacks. So. My shield is out, so I'm at 18 AC right now. 18? Okay. Let me... Man, I really hate having to track 10 different things at once. All right. Um, I'm going to have to get my... And here we are. All right, so it gets a plus 3 on, on its attack, so... Let's keep this up here. D20. First attack. So, first thing it does is it, it ends up trying to, to bite, and it gets a 21. 21 of hits, course it does. I, I believe. <laughs> no, no, the 21 doesn't hit me. No, I'm too good four for hit, it. Four hit points, four hit points of damage. Um, not its bite, I mean its claws. It sort of ratch, um, reaches out this razor-sharp claw. Uh, no, the, the tail. The tail's a 1 die 10. So the tail hit for 1 die 10. So uh, for four hit points of bludgeoning damage, and the second Ow. attack, the second okay. attack is its claw. Plus three. It rolls a soft twenty, and I hit three. two. Apparently, the tank is taking the tanks. Yep, and you suffer two hit points of damage of slashing damage. Two. Yes. Two. All right. Yep. So yep. a total of right. six I'm hit points 13. of damage. Total of six hit points of damage. All right. I am at character four. All right, Paviscro. Fifty-five no. percent. Um, I am gonna have to do Paviscro, and it's he is going to firebolt um, snake number two as he hits oh, with a twenty-four for hits for a twenty-four for six hit points of fire damage to the first creature. So, oh my god. All right. Six damage. All right, cool. Um, and that is going to be his only action. Um, what the hell happened? To what? I'm looking at the all of a sudden on uh, Astral. The oh yeah, I see that. The combat initial restarted. Just... What in the hell? Interesting. Oh, there it is. All right. No, I have to put it back. It jumped I... the wrong button. Obviously. So let me put snake one and snake two. Let me try this again. Flying snake two had a twenty. Flying snake one had a ten. Um. Losing a headphone. Paviscro had a nineteen. Uh, I, what did Mercy? I don't uh, know. she had a nine, I think. That's right. Yeah, she had the same as me. Yeah. Yep, she had a nine. Uh, Figly, what was yours? Uh, my initiative, it was, um... Like a four or something like that? I don't no, it's better. Well, let me scroll back up. It was... Sorry, guys, it, I don't know what happened. It was a 14. 14. 14, that's right. Yeah, I don't know why... Mine's an 11. Yep. And Hyacinth got 11. 
Nalo, yep, that's me. Nalo, what did you have? It was a nine. Nine. Okay. I think yours was right. green. All right. So, I think I got everything here. This character's turn. Now, whatever you did last time, don't do it again. Yeah. Um, ending the snake's turn. Pavis girl went. And Pavis girl's done. Figly. <laughs> I think we're good now. I don't All right. Know, I really don't um, know what the hell happened, but I do apologize. Ah, just don't do it again. We're good. Yeah. All right. So first thing Fickle's gonna do is use his reaction to fall on his butt and be like, ah, ah, and drop his ten foot pole, um, because he's kind of startled. Uh, and then he would like to uh, rummage around, uh, kind of like. Kicking and like kicking and screaming, trying to back away from this. Uh, what are these called? I forget. Uh, ravids. Ravid. R a v i d. Ravid. Yeah. Ravid. Okay. Yeah. From these ravids and uh, pull out his short sword and awkwardly swing at it in fear. Okay. So just so you know, number one is in front of you. Number two is over there by Nalo. So um, you're going at okay. number one, correct? Number one, it is, and I need to get back. Oh wait. Yep. Right um, there. Armor class twelve. So, That's a uh, seven, seven. Seven misses. So as you sort of stumble out of your way and then you, you um, reach to grab your sword and you just sort of haphazardly swipe at it, uh, unfortunately, um, uh, whether you strike it or not doesn't matter as your blade just sort of glances off its thick hide, um, doing absolutely nothing. All right. Good. Okay. Next up, is there anything else you want to do, Fig? Mm -mm. All right. Hyacinth. You are up all the way across the way. Yeah. I'm gonna... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Is there, like, a counter here? So, is uh, that what the ghost no, yeah, is behind? Yeah, uh, that's what the ghost is behind. Uh, to the left and to the right are counters. Yeah. There is no counter where... That's in um, the middle. In the middle, correct. There is no, no counter there. Um, that's just okay. on the map because I needed a quick map to represent a shop, so... Okie dokie, lucky. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to run up to there. I should have enough movement for that. So, uh, move with my friends. Fig figure that out. Five, uh, 10, yep, 15, absolutely. 20, yeah. I've got 40 feet, so. Yep, absolutely. All right, so um, you're attacking number two as well. Yeah, I guess I'm going to attack number two because it's here yep. in my face. Okay. And the other one appears to be floating above the hole, and I don't feel like... They're both kind of floating by the hole. They're both, like, swooping yeah. in the air. But the other one looks like I'd have to, like, get closer to the hole for that. I would rather hang out by the wall. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to hit it with my staff okay. first and see if that works. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Twelve hits. Hey, cool. So I did it one-handed, so that's going to get me seven damage. Nicely done. Thank you. And then I am going to um, uh, hit it with my fist. Okay. It's a bonus action. Watch out. Ooh, look at this. That's a nat, and that's a nat 20. That's a nat 20. Go ahead and roll. And Hell yeah. So uh, just so you guys know, I know mm -hmm. we, we do the rolls here, but my preference yeah. is to just double whatever your damage is so you don't have to roll okay. extra dice. That's up to you guys. Well, let's make the rule now. What do you want well, to do? I, I, I should have done did, this a long time ago, but I've always just said let's just double it. I but, did just roll max damage for for That's true. Max, so that's I'm true. going to... I am going to take what I rolled on the dice ball. Well, I know that, that, but whatever we do, this is going to be yeah. um, going forward. All I time. have my code set up um, now on that sheet uh, after the last game to just uh, not roll crit damage. So yeah. I just assumed we doubled We can the just roll. ignore my crit damage. Okay. That's fine. I just want to make sure that going forward in the future, whatever you roll for damage, you double it. Even if you get a one, you're just going to double it so you won't get the roll. Fine for me. Okay. All I feel right. like we've been doing that in the past anyway. Yeah. So, so um, you guys watch as as uh, Hyacinth sort of does her ninja monk stuff, 
um, dancing in and around between Mercy and Hyacinth to get in a solid blow as she flips over and lands. She smacks this snake creature on top of the, the head and literally brings it down to her size and her second hand comes up through it, um, right up through the bottom of its chin and you just hear this crunching sound as between the, the blow on top of the head and the punch coming up uh, into the throat of this thing, it seems to damage it to the point where it drops to the floor and is not moving. Good. <laughs> oh. Um, that's my turn. Bye. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. Anything else for Hyacinth? No, nope. that was all my stuff. All right. Um, as the snake that has been killed. Um, yeah, actually, that was that was number one. Number two is the one that um, Figley's at. Um, so that one is dead. Therefore, it goes to Nalo. Halo, All right, are... left one or right one is dead. Uh, uh, the, the, one. the one next to Hyacinth is one. Okay, I see it now. I yeah. see it now. All right. Um, oh, what is a flying snake? All right, so uh, I'm going to draw my sword, and I'm going to swing on the one in front of Figly D. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 13 hit, and I hit a 6 for damage. Nice. 6 slashing damage. So, you you sort of um, moving to uh, uh, to attack the one in front of you, uh, but before you can, Hyacinth takes it out, so you quickly pivot, bringing your blade across, and apparently it catches that snake off guard because your blade slices uh, right into it, and it sort of lets out this hiss as it sort of floats up, um, comes right back in for the attack, though. All right, bitch, come here. <laughs> Nothing else? Nah. All right. I don't have anything fun yet. As Mercy works around the the gnome getting over there with, uh, what is she going to do? So she is going to. She's going to play yeah, whack-a-mole. With her long sword. Um, as she, she rolls her attack. And 11, she misses, unfortunately, as she grabs her longsword, slashes out at the snake. Um, it sort of floats up out of the way and then um, back, uh, right back down to where um, no longer, uh, or I should say, Sean, right back rolling down. poorly for us. Yeah, I know. As we know we... you like to roll poorly for, for us when you roll for us. Mm -hmm. Whatever. All right. However, now <laughs> the snake, the snake severely wounded. Um, eyes the one who wounded and lashes out its tail at uh, Nalo and lashes out its claw at Figly. So it is going to be first of all the tail attack at Nalo. Nilo. That's going to miss. Uh, a What's six that? misses. As, oh as, yeah as that, claw, that misses. As the claw reaches out to slash Figly with a He's going to miss him too. And misses Figly as well. As Look Pervis at that. As Previscro once again sort of eyes the, uh, the floating snake, um, which gives it a perfect target for the firebolt. As boom, 24 hits for eight hit points of damage as you guys watch as this firebolt blasts right into the snake, causing it to hiss and thrash. Uh, you can see a huge swath of its, of its flesh was just blasted away on its chest, leaving its sort of innards uh, half uh, exposed from the flesh that was blown away, spattering blood. What? What did I miss? Who did what? Da, 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 da. Yay, oh, Troy. Shit. Troy up there cheering for us, man. I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. All right. Um, so, as I said, uh, the firebolt sort of smacks right into the chest of the thing, bursting it open, um, causing blood to splatter everywhere between uh, uh, Mercy and Figly and, and Nalo. Um, but it does not go down. It does not go down. Ah, Troy. Dude, man, I appreciate it. Two whole months, man. That's like as long as we've been streaming, man. So Troy is like on the end. I definitely appreciate it, man. Every every subscription helps, guys. 
Every subscription helps. Every cheer helps. Every follow helps, right? So spread the word to your Elf friends. Elfbauer Dungeon, Ma Dungeon Master, pay the bills. That's it, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, actually, what I would like is you guys to go to school, go to work, tell your friends to come watch the stream. I told we were having a conversation today at work about this, um, about streaming and stuff. So hopefully, some of the folks from work maybe will eventually come here and give us a little follow, kind of boost us up a little bit. Trying to hit that hundred, man. We are so close. We got like 93 now, I think, maybe 94. Something like that. Um, well, we're definitely getting there. But anyway, that being said, the next up, Figly, as as the turn passes to you, as this snake, once again, as I just said, sort of splatters its blood um, over you as the firebolt sort of blasted away um, half of its flesh right in front of you. All right. Uh, so seeing it reel back from that, from that, like, tough hit from that firebolt, like, very obviously doing some good damage to it, Piggly is gonna get up off his butt and uh, brandish his short sword. Uh, Proper. Cause, uh, in, <laughs> yeah, cause, <laughs> he, he's in, he's he's in a moment where he can afford to be brave because you know there's not currently a a creature just like staring him down. It's too busy reeling in pain, and so he's right. he's gonna he's gonna try and strike it down, aiming for the spot where it got a uh, shot with the firebolt. All right. So I don't know what the rules are, but uh, you get. Um, uh like sneak attack or anything on this uh or you don't have advantage so uh, I think you have to have advantage right if well, Mercy had moved down one more space he would have had it uh, it's it's how it normally works like it's like advantage or if like if there's someone within five feet of like the monster as well or like within five feet of me i forget yeah <clears throat> well i'm not gonna give it just yet but we're gonna need to look that up because uh, if adam was here he would know because he's always playing a rogue but I always get the yeah. rules all mixed up and stuff like that. So, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and go ahead and roll as you hit with your short sword. Go ahead and roll your damage. Seven slashing as the creature is sort of slashing around comes in. It's just um, you know like a cobra does, where it's sort of all of a sudden it flares its hood open and just sort of rattles and stuff like it's yeah. gonna, like an attack. You it does that right at you, and just as it does, you sort of ah and stab outward and right through its teeth out the back of its head as your short sword goes as you impale the creature upon your blade and as you pull it back and stumble backwards the creature itself falls dead into the hole from whence it came Leave oh look it fell in the hole nice uh so uh figly's gonna kind of kind of hold his short sword with like a couple less fingers and he would like and just kind of like and just kind of like awkwardly like try to shake off all the blood and brain matter. And I will we'll hand him a, um, a piece of cloth to wipe it off. Oh, uh, thank you. I, uh, I, don't, I don't like, uh, I, I wouldn't like uh, to keep my short sword uh, quite this dirty. It's not good for its longevity, you know. I mean, it's true. You gotta keep going for me. Going. Alright. Well, um, Is this so... a locksmith repaired? <laughs> Hey, we killed the things in the hole. Hello. So, as you guys sort of come out, he he greets you and he's like, oh, you, I don't, I don't believe it. You did it. Woo, woo. Yeah. And he sort of starts dancing around. And again, as you guys see him dancing around, as he sort of pirouettes and the light sort of, um, it's very dimly lit in here. But as, he, as some of the, mm -hmm. the shafts of light sort of hit, you can see that he's almost translucent um, at times and stuff. Um, and like I said, as he as he sort of dancing around, um, uh, he stops and he goes, "I didn't think anybody was ever gonna come help me with this." Yeah, they probably weren't gonna, but it's your lucky day, I guess. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, how can I ever repay you? Oh, oh, I know, I know. As he goes in behind the the desk where he's at, he sort of fumbles through this a lockbox of some kind, and. Uh, he reaches his hand in and you notice that not only does he reach his hand in, he hasn't even unlocked it yet. He's reaching his hand through the top of the the case that he was trying to fumble with and he pulls out this Lucky. key that comes right through right through with it and at first it's sort of translucent, transparent and all of a sudden it becomes solid and in his hand he hands you a key that's like almost like a skeleton key. It's about five inches long, um, very thin. It's got the two mm -hmm. claws at the end. Um, it has a very sort of ornate end that's in sort of the shape of a of a uh, upside down pyramid 
or a pyramid, if you will. But it is upside down mm -hmm. because the pointy end goes to the key and the wide end comes away from the key as opposed to what you would expect the wider part to be like up against the, the shaft of the key. But um, it's completely made of silver. And like I said, it's like about six, six and a half, eight or well, seven inches long, maybe um, very ornate, um, very finely etched all along it. And he goes, oh, your masters will be happy with this, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Thank oh, you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, would you happen to know? Yes. Would you happen to know why they requested this? On uh, who knows what the black robes wanted. Uh, they they came to commission and and I I performed the task that they wanted. They said they needed a silver key with these exact specifications and this exact design for something that they needed in the temple. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Oh uh, well, have you heard any rumors about what the black robes are doing in the temple? Oh no no no. It's, not wise to, to speak of the black robe ones. Even if you think they're not around, somehow they know what you're talking about. No, oh, my apologies. Oh, I will please. respect your decision. Vera, thank you for the uh, payment. Oh, you are very welcome. You go and rest now. I'm pretty sure you've had to deal with those rabbits for quite a bit. Oh, they were, they were incorrigible. Mm -hmm. All right, For you sure. have yourself a good day, sir. You too. As you guys exit outside mm -hmm. um, into the deathly silent silence, um, you find yourselves once again in the center of Dogovak. Dogovak. Cool. Has anybody hurt? Anyone need a little bit of healing? I'm just uh, uh, I'm doing fine. I didn't uh, hurt. There's some. Dry, uh, some drying blood coming off uh, Nilo's shoulder. She kind of looks at it, lifts up a plate a little bit to see inside, and sees the puncture. Room, goes, I, be I believe this can be using some dressing. Cool. Get out, one of my healers' kits. Healers' kits. Healers', healers kits. kits. Okay. Uh, Nilo's just going to stick her shield here. in the ground do, 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 and do, do, sit do, on the do. shield for her. <laughs> okay. Um, uh -huh. So you break out your healer's Healer kit. Oops. kit. Oh, well, my I windows had, froze, so I had to restart them. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, isn't this fun? Oh, it's very fun. Technology fine. Okay. is beautiful. Kayla's will win online. Shh. At least that's what it said in my, my astral. It said, everybody yeah. shush, Kayla's will win online. Okay, I'm online. So let's see if this rolling is better. One die six plus no. one, right? Plus four, I think. Plus four? What? Yeah. This is uh, one die six plus four. Oh, you're just going to do... Uh, did it, it roll it? It rolled twice. Oh, good. Uh, you're only using one, one though, right? I will just click one, yeah. Okay, five. Okay. Right. Five. Gets, five. The minimum. The yeah. minimum I can roll. Minimum. There we go. I should That's click okay. On it brings me up to 18 out of 20. Uh, it would only been one more. It wasn't going to be any better. Yep. Exactly. So, as you... I'm at, like... I give you a little bandage up. It should also make it so that you don't have to roll the constitution thing for healing later or whatever the yeah. rule is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so whenever, whenever, you, whenever you do a short rest, if you want to add con bonus, now that you've been healed with a healer's kit, mm -hmm. you can you can add your con bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that works that's for me. Important. All right. Not that... Let's see. Um, and then I'm just going to mark down that I look usage. and take quite a beating. So I have used one charge of healer's kit so far. Okay, I have marked down all the things I need to mark down. And if you're the only one who needs to heal, I guess. Yeah. yeah was Nyla was the only one that got hit, right? Yeah, I Yeah, because so. I pissed him off. Yeah, I got 17 of 20 healers kit charges left. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Important so, things. Uh, let's see. That was the locksmith, right? Okay. Cool. And good. All right. So you guys find yourselves outside the locksmith shop. Um, 10, 15 minutes passes. You take a, a quick break, but nothing, nothing mm -hmm. significant as... Hyacinth tends to uh, Nalo, Nilo, um, mm -hmm. and binds her Nailo. wounds. Nailo. 
I, I will get it someday. I'm telling you. I'm going to practice. No, you won't. Nailo. You watch me. For the rest of this session, I'm going to call her Nailo. Gotcha. All cool. Right. As you guys find yourself outside the uh, locksmith's shop once again, where are we going now? Well, that is another MacGuffin in the bag. Awesome. So the last MacGuffin should be at seven. Nine. There's actually two. But oh uh, yeah, the butcher and the metalsmith. The metalsmith was at nine. Uh, I don't no, remember where the no, butcher was the, at. The butcher was at nine, and the metalsmith mm -hmm. guy was at seven. Oh, okay, my bad. Then yep. yeah, we'll go. We'll go to the um. We'll go to the butcher first because the butcher is closer. Yeah. Okay. Unless unless the um the metalsmith is literally across the way. Metal workers at seven. If you can see on the map, mm -hmm. I've zoomed out a little bit. Um. You guys are at six. Um, so wait, I need to zoom all the way out. Oh. Yeah, I think we'll go... Oh, they're both right next to one another, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so five is oh, five okay. and seven are really... So it depends. If you walk straight through the trees, you can go to five, or you can walk around the, just straight through the trees and go to seven. Or if you walk around the trees going down to the south and come back up, you'd hit seven first. So it's totally up to you what you guys want to do. Uh, that's that's um. Let's walk straight through and just go to the seven because that's right there in front and hop over to nine right after. Okay. I like that plan. All right. All right. Let's go see what bothers him. Uh, Metalsmith said there was a creature bothering him at the well. All right. So mm -hmm. you're going to uh, seven or five? I forgot. Which did you say? Seven. Seven? seven. That's where you said oh, the black. Hang on, hang on a second. Uh, hang on. Um. I want to make sure that I got You it. give us the wrong number no, again, Sean. No, five, sorry, five was a candlesmith, right? That's where yes, got we got the golden it. candle. Seven is the metal worker. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I got this. Uh, and nine is meaty meats. Uh, yep. Hang on a second, I want to make sure. Nine is the butcher, yeah, so seven and nine. So five, seven, and nine were all there as well as six. Okay, so, mm -hmm. all right, so you're going to which one? Five is the candle uh, you went to. Seven is the metal yeah. worker, which is where you're headed yep, to. we're going okay. to metal, dude. All right. Uh, working we're going to go get metal. All right, uh, working your way around. Um, once again, you guys come to um, uh, outside the shop. You can see hanging on the, uh, hanging as a big awning is a sign that says, Kumis Heinz, metal worker. Cool. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, time to go in. Yeah, we go in. Let me move yourself, move you guys over there. All right. I mean, we're just gonna go inside, so. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna move you over there anyway because I can. I'm gonna okay. Yeah. Way. Ha. So what you think about that? All right. So seven is the metal worker. I think worker. it's beneficial. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So the metal worker. Let me get to it. Oh my god, my computer's killing me. Do do do. And my computer's not doing much all right so you guys enter in and once again as you enter into the metal workers shop an eerie feeling shivers through your spine as you realize that this shop whilst aeons old is still somehow quite orderly and intact the shop itself is maybe 50 feet square in diameter um, with a back door that appears to lead to an outdoor area behind the shop in the east corner, there sits a man on a stool, polishing what appears to be a life-size iron sculpture of a mermaid. Around the walls of the shop are several other well-polished iron sculptures of various creatures, both human and inhuman. They appear to be well cared for, and the floor itself uh, appears to have been recently um, swept. So we're going in, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, walking yeah. on in. Yeah, sorry, I was uh, wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything in description. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna do the map yet. I only have the map for the well, so it's gonna you're just gonna have to bear That's fine. in there. Um, so as you guys step in um, and and you enter into the shop, the the guy sort of looks up from from what he was doing, and he says, "Ha, huh, you have finally come." Yes. Yes, you had a complaint? Something about your well? Huh. 
If you're, if you're here for anything of value, forget about it. This is all I have left of my beautiful and unique sculpture garden. I've got to keep them all indoors now. Can't keep them by the well anymore. Damn blasted water beast won't let me. Can't even draw water from my own well. Ha, I'll tell you what. If you could get rid of it for me, I'll give you the brass knockers I made for the temple. The black robes never bothered collecting them. Worth quite a bit of money, too. Now, who would refer... Refuse a pair of big, beautiful door knockers, eh? Um, you mind telling me a bit more about this water beast? It's a creature that's made of water that lives in my well and won't let me near it. Every time I try to put a statue up over there, it pummels it until it destroys it. And any time I try to get water, it attacks me. So I can't even get water from my own damn well. Ah. Uh, okay. We can probably take care of that. So, what, what are we doing now? Point, uh, point your way out to the well and we'll head on and take care of it. So, he goes, oh, really? Yeah. You sure? You wouldn't be yeah, lying to me. That would be really weird of us to lie to you about something like that. Yes, but thieves lie. And you're not going to try to steal all of my, the rest of my beautiful sculptures when I, when I turn my back, are you? No. Okay. So he turns <laughs> and he leads you through the back door and literally he walks right through the back door leading you guys out um, from to, behind his um, behind his shop. Um, it's a, well, a rather well manicured garden, although it is starting to get very overgrown and you can see a lot of the stones and stuff have moss and grass and stuff sort of overgrown. But for the most part, it looks like it's it's pretty decently tended. In the center of the garden is a large well with an overhang and a bucket which would once have been used to draw water. Around the well in the garden are dozens of iron wrought statues of various creatures and people and it appears however that the statues have rusted very badly and are probably even beyond repair if they continue to get wet. There's a tin roof over the garden so it's obviously not rain that's spoiling these statues. Mm -hmm. the the metal worker Heinz turns to you and says it lives in there he says pointing to the well it comes up and drenches my lovelies and ruins them takes pleasure in it he does a most foul creature an enemy to art all right okay you might want to go back inside for this bit it's not pleasant okay but don't take any of my statues here because I still might be able to take care of them. We no I promise we won't. Right, um, Sean. Yes. Um, if I recall correctly, water elementals only take half damage from normal weapons, right? Uh, don't know. Alright. Don't know. You could do give me a uh, nature check or uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's just do that. Some let's just do that. Anyone, would it okay. would it be nature? Or would it be arcana? Um, I, I guess you could go probably either way, but I'm gonna go nature because it, you're wanting to know the what a to define what a creature is. So I'm gonna say nature. Woo! Hell yeah! Let's go. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good. You have never heard of, or you've heard of creatures no, no. made of water, but whatever this you one know? is, you have no idea. I'll do a need. Why not? You know what? It can't hurt nobody okay. to do a need yeah, check. Yeah, again, you've, you've heard I did of, okay. Yeah, it's, you've heard of, uh, water creatures. Again, um, mm -hmm. you know that it could be, um, if it's made of water, it could be mm -hmm. some kind of a creature from another plane or, or something like that, or a magical beast. Oh. Um, but whatever his description was, big uh, uh, Austin, you okay? Yeah. Well, I'm doing those good. chips yummy. Uh, it's actually a, a box. Sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. But... <laughs> it's a what? Oh. It's a, it's a container oh. that has chips in it, but gotcha. it's not yeah. a bag of chips. Yeah, it was it was. Oh like, well, we we heard you digging through the chips. Oh, yeah. my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what is going on? <laughs> yep, we're good. My hunger. Right, cool, cool, cool. You hungry? No Welcome worries. Back. I'm, um, wait, I'm waiting until break time so I can go make me ramen noodle. 
Is there like a pebble or a stone on the ground? Um, yeah, so there are pebbles and stones pretty much everywhere. Grab a good sized one. Okay. Everybody, is everybody ready for water thing? She's going to draw she's going to draw her sword I'm and stand ready to like stab uh, the stab a fucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move me over here. Okay. And then I throw the stone into the well. Okay. I'm going to does anything happen? Oh, um, well, <laughs> no. I will note that it's a ready action to stab it when, uh, to swing at it when it comes out. Uh, nothing happens. Hmm. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't want to get closer to the well. Fine. We'll get a little bit closer and peer down in the well. All right. My my character did not want to. Oh, there it is. As, Hello. As you as you get up there, suddenly the water begins to bubble and coming flashing out is this long snake-like creature made out of water as it reaches cool. out and the lashes um, striking out at you. Uh, Love to hear it. Love to see it. Yep. What's up? I like to think that's Hyacinth's reaction. Like, like you know what's coming for like this giant like crazy like event like oh and water elemental is here and you're just like cool. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right. oh. All right. I rolled a 13. On. Hang on just a second. I'm going Yeah, no to, problem. I want to get our combat going first. And reset combat. Confirm cool. reset. Add the party. Okay. Add from map to doom. Oh god, there's so much initiative just yep. popped up in the chat. Yeah. All right. So, I need everyone to roll their init. So, well, there. So, Hyacinth got a six. Paviscro, I got a roll for him. How come Hyacinth is always green? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just that um, her border um, that I created a token and put the, the green around here. So, I think that's. Well, Pigley is the green around him. I, uh, I get sure. red. I tried to change it a couple of times. Like, I tried to change it to a pinkish color, but I can't get it to work. Um, yeah. I have I no idea how I got it to be green. I have no, no that, idea. No, that, I like it, though. I made that token. I went out and I made a token and I put that border on you so it's green. Mm -hmm. And I did fig leaves and did his red, trying to match the color of the of the image. And the same thing I did for Mercy. I tried to match the, mm -hmm. the image there as well. <clears throat> so that's why hers is green like that all the time. So if you want a different color, we can redo your token. But I made that token and, and uploaded it and stuff. So. Well, I was just confused because as far as I was concerned, Hyacinth was green and then literally everything else is red. Yeah, because I'm the coolest. Like, duh. <laughs> yep. I'm, talking, I, I'm not talking about the token. I'm talking about in the combat. I know. Chat. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, I know, I but I, I don't. But, but, but my I, dad doesn't understand. Yeah. Oh, I, I, thought, I, I, I thought you were talking about the tokens. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I have no idea why my chat's like that. It just is. Um, I'm wondering if, I don't know, we can figure it out, but I think it may have to do, um, you can set some of the settings for colors and stuff in there. So it could have been something got set a while back, but yeah. I, I, already, no um... I, I couldn't tell you how I did it. All right. Bottom line is we are into our combat. And... Bottom line is high synth is special. That's yeah. exactly what it is. And we're going to go here. And let's go back to combat. Initiative tracker. All right. I'm going to make sure I don't screw anything up. So the creature itself is not actually an elemental. Um, it's known as a water weird. Basically, it is a creature from... Oh, the it's just an elemental with extra steps. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It is... Um, it is from the elemental plane of water, but it's more snake-like, so it can actually strike out, um, like almost like a. Uh, it, it can many pseudopods of water can come flashing out. The larger they are, the more pseudopods they can. Usually, though, the smaller ones and the lesser ones only are allowed to to do like one. So. Cool. I'm sorry if there's any feedback. Right. It's raining. Yep, you're okay. So, the... Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to do the action. As it reaches out to slam against you, so it's... Agreed. Don't appreciate that. Yep. 
don't think anybody would appreciate getting sand like that. As it's um, slice, uh, yeah, uh, no, it hits uh, 15 as the slam yeah. attack reaches out to strike Hyacinth. Is it 15? Yeah, that's 15. Nice. 15. That's my armor class. Oh, 15 hits. Yep. All right. I have to get my. Move this over here so we don't. All right. Roll for its damage as you suffer 11 hit points of bludgeoning damage um, from this creature as it slams into you. Boom! Rude. Yes. Didn't like that. Not at all. And uh, and then my reaction hits? My reaction triggers, at least? Uh, your reaction was, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I readied an action before she started messing with the well to swing at something when it came out. Uh... I readied that before you can even look up um, before did. the initial right. was even I rolled. Alright, alright, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I hit. I rolled a 15 uh, for 9 damage. A uh, 13, 13 for 9 damage. Uh, nope. Armor class 14 as a 13 misses. Damn, one shot. Ah, shit. Damn, Rude. okay. Nope. Yep. Rude. Yep. Oh, yeah, so go might as well move me up right there, um, ne uh, right there next to Hyacinth because I was already okay. standing there. Yep, that's fine. All right, Perviscro. I want to see if they uh, if they have any vulnerabilities. None. Okay. Resistance. Acid, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing for non-magic. Okay. Cool. All right. So he is going to go back to his old standby. Oops, wrong guy. As he is going to firebolt. Twenty-three as he hits the 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 water creature. As you guys watch as a a firebolt uh, yeah. goes slashing into the uh, the water creature as it explodes and a hiss of, of uh, steam and uh, water goes spraying everywhere. As uh, uh, seven, uh, yeah, seven hit points. All right, that is it for Fabrizio Figli. As you watch as this huge water creature sort of surges up out of the well. It's like five, six feet around. This big, huge pseudopod, like a writhing snake, um, as it lashed out and it slammed uh, into Hyacinth, knocking her backwards. But uh, you watch as it takes damage from both um, uh, Nalo and, uh, uh, or as both of them hit, but only one of them did the damage because it's kind of hard. Um, to question, for, <laughs> question for Austin. Yeah. Could he attach his knife to his 10-foot pole, or short sword to his 10-foot pole, and sneak attack from 10 feet away? No. <laughs> Alright, Figly. Because that would do. be very much in character. Figly, what you gonna Figly. do? Figly. I'm just gonna... Stick around to the... Not necessarily sneak around, but move around to the... Uh, backside of this creature. Okay. Because... I don't know anyone who, or Bigley doesn't know anyone that would want to be at the front of this thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and he's got his short sword. Like all, all, all Figley has, like weapons wise, are sharp things. Yep. And so he's kind of confused as to what to do because he's never had to cut water before. Um, and so he's just going to use his best judgment and kind of slap it with the flat side of it. Okay. Go ahead and roll, and you get your sneak attack. I assure you, that's a 14. 14 hits. Oh. Yeah. Min roll of 3 damage. Yep. And then just a die 6 for sneak, sneak attack. And I did look it up. Um, it's if they're within, if it's another enemy of that creature I'm attacking yep. is within 5 feet of that creature. Gotcha. Okay, so then you would, as long as they're engaged, somebody's within melee with it, yeah. and you'd get the sneak attack. Okay. Yeah. And it, it's cool, because, like, the way they word that, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a friend of mine. It yeah. could be anything. Yeah, exactly. It's another um, so that's pretty cool. Yep, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, and die 6. Ooh, a total of I'll 8. Yeah. Alright. Essentially, as long as they are distracted. Yep. Alright. So you watch as you hit it, and the creature sort of shudders, and you realize that even though you hit it, its body is pretty stuff, but you, uh, pretty stiff, I mean. So it's like it's magically held together or some sort of a, uh, 
energy from another plane is sort of binding this creature onto this plane. And you realize that the even though you hit it solidly, you did not do as much damage as you thought you should. And mm-hmm. the creature has resistance to non-magical weapons. Cool. Hmm. Just so you guys are aware. Okay. Anything else from you? No, sure. Nailo. The point is, we can now hurt it. All right. Um, that earlier swing kind of ticked me off. I'm a bit annoyed at this thing. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna ready up another roll. Okay. And, uh... Bam. 22 Ooh, I still... hits for 7 slashing damage. Nicely done. Do I still have an action surge available to me. Um... I... S- do I? Yes, I do. Okay. So, I attack. I action search. I attack again. Okay. That's a crit. Nicely done. Um, 22. That's four damage. Oh, now I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. My bad. That's um, uh, 7, 14. 14. Oh, wow. Okay. That's yeah. a lot more than four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I forgot, to add, I forgot to add the plus five to it. That's fine. Gotcha. So you did 14 total, or 14 for the second one, and 7 for the first, right? Yes. All right, I just want to make sure that's exactly. So that's a total of 21. Yeah, give a loud roar as I swack at it. So you, old s- you slam into the thing, and then you come back again with the reverse, and you slice right through it, and you can see the creature shudder, and you can feel the resistance as your blade sort of slices through the water. Um, you can see almost like energy sort of carving away and peeling away as the the energy dances along the end of your blade. But like your compadre Figly, you realize that this creature is faring well to your blows. It doesn't seem like you're doing as much damage as you had hoped, but be that as it oh, may, lovely. I'm gonna, it was a solid blow. I'm going to put my shield back in front of me again, and I'm going to flick off whatever energy was stuck to my blade off to the side so it doesn't go back to it. Okay. Anything Whoosh. else? Hyacinth, you are up. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to do my usual spiel of hitting it with a stick real quick. One turn. Okay. That's right. Beat it with the switch. T- teach it a Yo, lesson. Put it in time out. Well, I Use didn't like that part. So, um, since that didn't work out, I'm going to um, flurry of blows, the key point, and attack it twice more. Okay. So, I don't hit it with the thing, but I crit. And I only get, I get six damage with my crit in my hand. Nice. Then I roll again. Two hits. And I got a 15, and that got Five damage. All right, so you did six, a total of 11, 11 hit points of damage. Yeah, Shane, a lot of times, I don't know what the deal is, but sometimes my mic is it comes in loud, sometimes it doesn't. I I kind of, during the game, I have to kind of move it up and move it back a little bit um, just to kind of see if I'm going to be coming in any louder than I normally would. All right, so you did uh, 11 hit points of damage, right? Is that what we said? Total 11. Yep. So that's, total 11. So that's six total. All right. Yep, not magical yet. We'll be magical later. Yep, exactly. One day. All right. Believe it or not, I'm going One to day. Anything, anything else from you, Hyacinth? Mm, no. All right. Mercy grabbing her blade, moving up side uh, next to um, Nyola. May I request that she uses her um, ability here? What's that? Her um, ability to turn oh. her weapons magical. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yep. So you guys watch as she sort of grabs her one long sword and she slices along her arm, drawing blood, doing one hit point of damage. Cool. As she begins to incant uh, a, a spell or, or her, um, uh, her incantation, her rite, as she... What is it? Uh, adds lightning to her. Uh, where is it? Uh, blood ma- It doesn't have any of that. It does. It does one d four extra damage and counts as magical. Thank you. I was trying to find where it had on here, but it didn't. <laughs> that that I, I remember that from last yeah. session. She was doing one d four extra damage with it. Yep. And it always counts as magical when it hit. Yep. Exactly. I knew the lightning did. So it's it's 
Um, so, 18 mm -hmm. as hits as her two-handed strike does six slashing oh. plus four lightning. So she does a total of seven damage uh, to the... No, her... Isn't her regular yeah, damage her also her entire not considered weapon, magical? Yeah. Was it? Okay. Yeah, the entire uh, weapon yeah. was okay. considered magical. At least that's what she said last time. All right, that's fine. So that's or, 10 total. That's what you said, yeah. All right, so that's 10 total. As you guys watch as the lightning strikes, it sort of mm. blasts through the, the, uh, the water mm. elemental as it sort of shakes and shivers um, from the damage that, that it took bringing back to it. So seeing the seeing the uh, uh, the magical weapon of the, the lightning and stuff like that mm -hmm. the elemental realizes where its true enemy lies and it goes to strike out at her as it goes after its slam attack I'm trying to see uh, oh it makes two slam attacks good See, I only did the one last time, so it's going to do one slam attack against um, against uh, Mercy and one against Niola. All right. Uh, Twenty-two hits for eighteen hit point slam damage against against uh, um, Hyacinth. As this thing just rears back. Slams one of its pseudopods, strikes her right in the chest. You watch as she literally collapses on the ground, uh, struggling to stand back up as this creature brings her down to one hit point. As his, the second slam attack is a 26 against uh, Niola it. for 12 hit points of bludgeoning damage against Niola. Yikes. Oof. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah... Hyacinth, you should pull back there. As Paviscro, Paviscro is up. Let me see if he's got anything else that he can do besides. Paviscro. I think he meant Mercy because I think he oh, said he was attacking. Yeah, did I, what did I, who did I say? Uh, Mercy, yes, yeah, so Mercy is down to one hit point. Niola yeah. okay. took 12. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, not Hyacinth. Niola's going to call it Paviscro. Uh, Paviscro, can you patch up? Uh, mercy for us. Okay. She appears to have taken a bit of an extra slam. Maybe, I don't know. Yep. Um, undo that broken bone or something. As she gets six hit points back from Previscro. Cool. Well, As he we... slams her with his hammer. <laughs> he walks over and says, <laughs> yep. I will fix you! Oh, is he in chat? Is he in chat? Is I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I don't think so. Adam, oh. Adam, Adam, yeah, unfortunately, Adam, Adam had a couple yeah, and of issues. I think if he was, if I think if he had the ability to be in chat, he'd be playing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a he had a he had an issue at a ten too. So he moves over mm -hmm. and he brings his hammer down and lightly smacks her on the head um, as she Felix. feels his healing energy burst through her, um, giving her six mm -hmm. hit points back, and that brings us to Figley. Not healing energy. Right. He just undoes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> he fixes her. I'm sorry. It's too funny to let it go. Yeah. Unfortunately, I yeah, can't so, play uh, their characters as well as you guys can. So, you know, I do the best I, I can. I recall. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So after having that big flat side slap with a fairly short sword, you know, the end of that big swing just leaves him in the prime position to give him the old one two and go back the other way, the old double slap. Okay. And so Figley's gonna do that, hoping to God that uh, his damage isn't gonna be effective, so effective that the uh, monster says, will, Ooh. or the creature <laughs> turns his attention to him. Yeah. Because uh, if that is if that is ever ends up happening, then Figley might have to have a different different <laughs> approach, okay. different strategy. All right. So. All right. Let's do it. That's ten. Ten misses. Hey, you got what you wanted. You didn't get its attention. That's it. Exactly. So it's a win. As you as you go to swing at it, it's like your blade sort of passes through it as if it wasn't even there. The creature doesn't move, doesn't do anything. So obviously you did no damage to it whatsoever. Anything else that you want to do? Move or bonus action or anything? 
Stay very still. Gotcha. You are Bonus still. action stealth. Gotcha. <laughs> now you low. Your turn, Jacob. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Um, I'm just gonna hit it again. Okay. She swings again. As a oh, six, shit. as you swing, unfortunately. <laughs> How does it know you missed? <laughs> That's pretty weird. Oh, I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Oh, got you. Nat one. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Like... Uh, I'm pretty sure anybody can take that guess. Yeah. Because if you look right up, right, if you look right above it, it just says, oh, that's a 20. Um, Here it is. The hit, 17, and it just gives me damage. Yeah, gotcha. All right. So, as you swing, your blade just completely whiffs um, as the monster is just contorts itself. Like a, oh, shit. Just whoosh, moves around, and unfortunately, you find yourself missed. Anything else? If not, Hyacinth? Yeah, no, just just pass it on. Just okay. pass it on. She's uh she's um nursing her pride right now. Hyacinth. I'm going to hit the thing. That was embarrassing. <laughs> it's all good in the neighborhood. I'm gonna hit it with my staff. Nineteen hits. Yeah, for three. Yeah, I know she's really embarrassed. Three, three damage. Three bludgeoning damage. Which is cool. And yeah, I'm just gonna hit it again with my arm strike. Okay. Ten misses. Cool. As your second okay, now blow. She's not so you manage to hit it with your your staff, and you can see that um, the resistance you meet uh, leads you to uh, believe that you've done some damage to it. Is but your follow up with your hand passes right through, and just like slapping water, does absolutely nothing. As mercy, unless there's anything else you want to do, Hyacinth. Uh, no. Okay. As as mercy, um, feeling the effects of being like pummeled down and then sort of stood back up it's like being shoved into the crowd and the crowd shoves her back get back in there as she takes her blade and once again goes for the two-handed blow um, uh, with her long sword 21 as she nice. hits 12 slashing wow nice and a four 16 total damage against this creature as it just oh, yeah. brings this thing shuddering, shuddering as the lightning. You guys watch as water and steam and, and whatnot spray out everywhere, almost like this thing exploded from the inside. And you'd swear, if you didn't know any better, that this thing shrunk almost uh, almost half a foot as the thing seems to be, the water is beginning to be turbulent and sort of splashing up everywhere as the creature is obviously wounded. But now it's its turn as it brings one of its slam attacks on top of her once again. Rude. That's a nine. This time um, it unfortunately misses badly as its second <laughs> sla as its second slam attack goes after Hyacinth because Hyacinth just damaged it. Therefore, it's going to go for its slam attack on Hyacinth. Cool. 14. Oh, it's not going to miss. That doesn't hit. 14 misses <laughs> as it sort of, as, as it's, in the throes of its damage and you can tell that it's severely mm. wounded that lightning that uh, that hyacinth did to it really really did a number on it um and you can tell that it's hyacinth can spit lightning now huh you keep calling mercy hyacinth oh i, I don't know why i don't know why i do that lightning. yes as mercy yes as mercy as mercy's blade caused the lightning to one to day i'll have cool it. damage yes exactly but it's but not today right now right now mercy's mm -hmm. See, that's why I said I don't want to. I don't want to play your guys' character because I got too many things to remember. All right, as we revert once again back to the firebolt damage. Thirteen just misses as as the the firebolt goes blasting through the water elemental, causing a little bit of um, of steam to go up. But unfortunately, um, nothing worthwhile as as the turn passes to. Figly, the, the 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 monster killer. All right. Uh, so, oh, okay. seeing it. as how that double slap approach didn't work, uh, Figly's gonna kind of like pull off a bit, like stop his old like flurry of blows. He was doing his old back and forth, back and forth. And he's gonna like he's gonna like prep himself and like ready himself. He's gonna go for a stab. Okay. That's good. Your short sword. 
12, 12. just barely misses as you manage to pierce into the thing and the creature sort of shudders a little bit but it doesn't appear you did any damage as suddenly the it whips its what you would call its face around to face the direction that you are as it realizes that you are behind it uh, there's, uh, there's right. nothing to see here <laughs> and he just kind of like <laughs> hides his short sword behind his back <laughs> okay uh, you're gonna move. Or you're gonna stay there. Beautiful. Mm. Well, it's looking around at me. I'd rather not move. Okay. Nailo. Oh. Um. Yeah. Let's. Uh. Let's not roll one this time. I think that would be a good idea. It's <laughs> a good way to start. Okay. You rolled a two. <laughs> I. I think it. I think a two. A two is better. It's better. Not quite there yet, but it's better. Uh, you, um, the next can, person can go. If you can, if you continue that, if you continue that in about ten rounds, you'd be able to hit it. I would hit something. <laughs> All right. Nice. Not mercy. You are up. Cool. 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 Look, you haven't called me Mercy. You just also called Mercy highest. I know. I know. That's why I'm calling. So I'm going to um, hit it with staff. Oh, unfortunately, no, as you slam onto it. But this, is the, even though it's in its death throes, you guys are unable to put it out of its misery. Yeah, but let me think. Do I want to hit it again? Do I want to back up? Let me think. What's my character sheet? I feel like I have a thing. You, you open character sheet. Thank you, you got a friend in me. Hmm. Oh, I didn't write it on this character sheet. Ooh, that's what you thunder. looking for? Yeah, did you hear it? Yeah, we're get, we're, we're getting old flashes. Um, of here. how do you get to your like uh, open? How do I open my player menu? So if you just if yeah if you click on your character and hit the space bar, it'll mm -hmm. open up your whole sheet. Oh, there we go. That's better because I didn't don't have this written down on yeah. my regular handout. I don't think. While she's uh -huh. doing that, folks out in chat, don't forget um, use your coins oh, to buy these guys natural ones and natural twenties. They can definitely use it. I could use an actual coin right now, right now, right now. <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, we really could, or Mercy could maybe. All right, went through the one. The damage. Thanks for the one, guys. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm pretty sure that my fancy monk class allows me to disengage as a bonus action. Uh -oh. But I can't find it because I'm not level three yet, so I don't get my... I can't have it on D&D &D Beyond. I thought I wrote it down on my regular character sheet in Astral, but it does not appear to be there because I'm... Um... It's not loading half of my page. All right, so let me do this real quick. We're going to take a quick 30 second as I go to the way. This is the way of mercy, right? Uh, way of the wanderer. The way of the wanderer, I mean. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's, it's, it's based on, yeah. So. Yeah, but you gave me something fancy, and yeah. I don't remember what it, so, what it was called. Know the way at second level you have advantage on making navigation checks, uh, but I don't see anything other than at that. At first level? Until, at first level. Fast mover is the only thing I had for first level. Did we have something different? I don't. I don't remember. Because I have the way of the wanderer here, because you've got implements of mercy at yeah. third level, mm -hmm. the way of mm -hmm. mercy, the hand of healing, hand of harm. I think it was something else. I don't remember. I feel like I had something. And yep. I don't remember what it is. So I'm just going to actually just use my key point to disengage. Okay. Um, if you find it, let me know because I can go. Yeah. I can go modify the uh, the sheet. Um, so. Um, and so Cardman, Cardman has given a natural one for the party. So you guys now have a natural one anytime you want to use it. Um, so if somebody wants to make note of that, um, I will make note of it as well. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just backed up so it doesn't hit me. Oh, okay. Oh, so if, as you move out, um, but monks, do you get? That? I used to, yeah, I used my step of the wind to get gotcha. out. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so you don't, you're not able to get into yeah. its range. Okay, cool. But I was using a key point to leave. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so Mercy once again taking her two-handed or her longsword, uh, two-handed, um, heaves high and looks to slam down on top of the uh, the creature. 
26 natural 20. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Yeah, oh, that's a rare yeah. sheet, too. That's going to do huge damage. Yeah, yeah, not really. 6, 12, oh. 14 hit points of damage as the lightning bursts through the creature. As you guys watch, as this massive eruption of water just goes everywhere, sending everybody backwards 10 feet in the explosion as the wave just sort of carries you, knocking you all backwards and knocking you prone for a second um, into the, to the stony um, the stony slash grassy uh, rock behind you. Um, Oof. When you guys sort of struggle to, to regain yourselves as you look, you see that the waves are sort of calming down as the creature, wherever it was, or whatever it was, is no longer mm -hmm. there. And you guys are once again in the quiet, sort of eerie silence that is this place called Dagavak. Cool. That was a fun time, huh? Mm. Water thing? Yes. As, Water as thing. As Mercy looks and says, I don't think you understand what fun means, but okay. As she cleans her oh, blade. No, she's being sarcastic. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah. As she cleans her blade, returning it, and you watch as she wipes off in bandages where the wound is, adding yet another small scar to the myriad of scars that are there. And we appreciate that card, man. I know the party definitely appreciates a natural one. I'm sure it would have come in handy if, if, uh, Mercy would have missed and the the water elemental oh. would have had an opportunity to to do its thing. So. Swing again. Just swing Alrighty, again. well. Um yeah, that's uh that that's that's great. Um we're done. Okay. Uh we did it. shall I go get the guy? What's that? Let's go. Okay. Alright, um back in the I'm just gonna go grab him. Uh -oh. Hey, we killed it. It's dead. All right. Um, hang on just a second. I'm going to put you guys back out there so I can catch get my bearings here. And you are here. All right. You are here. You are here. As you guys once again find yourselves. Boy, there's a big delay here. It just baffles me every time. It's like confuses me when I see. Um, so as you guys um, arrive back in there, he sort of steps up and he goes, it's... You're kidding me. It's You've taken it down. You've killed it. You destroyed the creature. My friends, as he goes to try to hug you, um, arms passing through you, but he doesn't seem to notice. And he turns around and goes, come, come, come. Let me get you your reward. As he, oh. walks, he walks back into the shop, going back by a workbench, he brings out these two huge iron rings um, that have... Mm -hmm. A, one of them has a shape sort of like an upside down pyramid and the other mm -hmm. one at the end, it's like, you know, how the door hangers are, right? So they've got mm -hmm. um, the thing that sits against the door and then, for example, maybe it's a moose head or, or something and then the ring would go through the moose head's nose, right? So imagine it like that. The ring is going through the tip of the pyramid and the other ring is going through what it looks to be um, something like a, that shape like a, uh, 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 one of those spiral things for hypnosis. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's what the bases of them are. So that's what, if you imagine them to be door knockers, to be hanging up on the doors, one of them is shaped like the, like I said, the the pyramid. and uh, The other one is sort of shaped like a, a spiral type of thing. And then the door, the knocks would hang down and then you'd be able to do, you know, cool. hang the knock and stuff like that. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Thank you, sir. This is um going to be a big help to the black coats or black robes or whatever. Your masters should have come to get them before, but I am so happy that you were to do this for me. No yes. worries. Consider I... delivery complete. Later. I suppose we should take these back to the uh, gross, slimy door and uh, hopefully yeah, not have to touch it too much. For true, for true. While we walk, I'm just going to bandage me up, like, real quick. We should probably hit the butcher first, though. Yeah, so, um, when I'm we... I'm still going to bandage me real quick. I, um... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. as I went back through, I had a chance to read back through the notes from last time. 
mm-hmm. in the butcher shop. You guys did find the butcher, but he wasn't alive. It was a skeleton standing at the edge. Yeah. He was that's a, what I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I was what like, I was yeah, he's just a skeleton. Now. Yeah, he was just a skeleton standing there with his axe in his hand carving meat, but there was no more meat there, and he was just mm-hmm. a skeleton. So yeah. So yeah. So that is. Um, those were the only the three that you guys found that were ghosts. You guys have already seen and done with. Oh yeah. Okay, then it's, yeah, we just go home. We just go back. Go to the temple, Adam. Okay. Cool. I love a good temple. Hmm. You know what? First, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sort of. I'm going to um, look at our three artifacts real quick. Okay. And take in consideration of all. Um. We read through a bunch of books and stuff and uh, talked to the wizard dude. Can I take a history check to see if I can recall anything significant I might have remembered from what I read or heard about these specific items and what the, uh, and what the, uh, um, yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. You can give me a history check if you want. So. An 11. You've, 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 you know the symbols, um, the pyramid and the spiral symbol represent the entropy god known as Therizden. Although no, okay. nobody speaks his name because um, that's how much evil um, sort of surrounds him. Um, however, um, as far as these items in your hand, no idea. You under you know what door knockers are for. Um, you know what candles are for. Obviously, the the silver key you have is for something, but what it, what it is you don't know. Okay. Um, she's not gonna say she's gonna feel a little brave or a little dumb, whatever the case. She's going Okay. Well, um, the key here with the the pyramid and this um, swirl here, they both represent the god Thurzen. Which you cool. guys had already known. Yeah. Oh, she's going to say this aloud as, she ca- as they sort of walk back with uh, Figley and Hyacinth and the others behind them. So. And supposedly that is also the god that uh, killed everybody here because he got a little pissy. Um, which is, which um, is, well, that's what you guys got from the, the legendary yeah. story when you were reading through the books at the library and the Mages Guild. Yeah. So, I am anticipating either absolutely nothing or some type of abomination beast on the inside of these doors. Oh, man. That's a lot. Uh, oh, man. Okay. It's been a long Here day. Here we go. It's been a long day. So, yeah, let's just uh, take a peek, I guess. That's the worst uh, that could happen. Let's go. <laughs> what could? Uh, where are you at on your um, uh, your your heal spells? Paviscro. Yeah. Um, where, where's where's you having spell slots? Um, good question. Let me go back and take a look. Because I know he's used heal twice today. I believe. Or yeah. Twice in this day. Yeah, you're right. So I believe. That's probably his. I, I don't know what other spells he cast last week. I don't recall, but I do remember him healing no, somebody last he heals, week. He heals the only one, and he's only got um, like two slots. That's why. Yeah. He, okay. That's why he's using. So he doesn't have any slots. So he's been uh, using cantrip slots. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, besides cantrip, so I'm gonna double check in here. Uh, how many cantrip slots he has left? Um, he cast he's three fire bolts. Yeah. So I need to. He mm. scores. Um, yeah. He cast a third. Yeah. Yeah, I think he cast a second. I think he cast an extra. Um, yep. Uh, first level spell the la- the, um, earlier in the day with cantrips. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is he, he's got. Well, we also had a short rest before the, between yeah. them, didn't we? Yeah. No, you haven't had a short rest yet. You guys oh. haven't taken a short rest. Uh, no, we did. We did last session. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, we, we did. did. Okay. I we did, hundred percent. I I remember because okay. I expended one of my uh gotcha. one of my health dies. Okay, you're right. You're right. Okay. Die. Yep. So mm-hmm. that means right now, um, he has two. Two slots left. Um, and he has eleven cantrip slots. Cool. 
Yeah, because like I said, he did one heal, and he, he cast some cantrip, so he's got that. Okay. All right, we're okay. good. Okay. Okay. Um, are we ready to open up this door into hell? If we must. Uh, oh, I believe we as must. long as as long as I'm not the one who has to touch that grimy door. Oh, that's sure. fine. I'll do it. We can go wherever you want. I can help if you need it. Okay. So what are we gonna do? Right, I know it's gonna so go. Oh, we're gonna investigate I... the door and figure out how to okay. open it for reals this time. So, so as you now that we have our MacGuffins. So as you were, uh, or as you inspect the door once again, it looks mm -hmm. exactly as you left it. It these mm -hmm. large doors, each one ten feet wide by about fifteen or so feet high. Well, they look to be made of solid iron of some kind, but it is unfazed by time. It is completely slathered in this oily black goop stuff, but you managed to wipe some away mm -hmm. um, last time you were here to reveal about six or seven feet up, there are these symbols uh, etched on the door in the shape of an upside down pyramid and a uh, one of those hypnotic spirals. Um, oh, perfect. And the rest of the building is all black basalt type of stone or metal or something, uh, whatever it is. It doesn't even reflect light because even the blackest black you've ever seen, you can see the reflection of the light on it. But this absolutely nothing is reflecting. It's as if light itself is being sucked into the to the stone walls, kind of hurting your eyes and giving a very eerie vertigo kind of a feeling as you look at it. Oh, that's normal for evil magical things. All right, let's slot the items in and go inside. So, you reach up and you fidget with a little bit and get one in place, and suddenly it fits and slides in, and then the other one fits and slides in perfectly. And as soon as the second one latches into place, you hear this loud sort of reverberating clang as if some lock or mechanism came undone and suddenly the doors shift slightly rubbing against each other leaving itself partially open just enough for a small creature to squeeze through if it wanted to please don't right, tell me i'm the one who has to go through here right or earn your rent oh god yeah uh, i'm not gonna make him do that um Nilo will go in first. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a strength saving throw, please. I say saving yeah, throw. Works. It's not really a save, but I want you to be. I want to add your saving throw bonuses to it, so I'm going to call it a saving. Oh, it's basically gosh. a strength check. Does that work? Nice. Aha! It worked. So as Nilo gets there, she finds that she the door itself is not open enough for her to get through as she sort of struggles and she's like Aah! and suddenly the door <laughs> sliding and grinding along the unused uh, stone as it's sort of built up oh. and it opens up enough finally to allow anyone passage who wants stepping through you enter into this strange foyer. The, the foyer itself isn't strange, but the view that you can see across is what is really strange. Inside, it's sort of purpley black, um, but even your enhanced vision can't penetrate the darkness around you, as except for maybe the first 15 or 20 feet that you can see in here. Um, it's a rectangular. Oh shit! I'm actually blind in here. It's a it's a rectangular room of some kind. It goes about 15 feet to either side of you, sort of matching up with how wide it was outside. It doesn't look like it's any smaller or bigger inside than it was outside. Um, and you can see the walls. In the line behind you on the walls, you can see there are sconces all the way about every two to three feet all the way around, and there are these golden sort of candles set in every single one of these as they go all the way around the uh, uh, all the way around the room but it disappears in darkness after about 10 or 15 feet in so you can't see if there's any more further into the room or not okay well um, I'm going to me look back at the candle and I'm thinking 
Ah, oh, so that's what that's for. Yep. Very cool. Um, Ivisco has prestidigitation, right? Yep, I believe so. Yep. Hang on, let me double check just to be sure. I don't know 100% if he does I'm or not. I'm going to be furious if he doesn't. Is that the one spell he doesn't have? Yeah. <laughs> be funny. I love it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Paviscro. He has prestidigitation. Oh. Uh, hey, Paviscro, mind giving us a light? Uh, as far as what do you want him to do? Uh, light you candle. should be able to light a candle with presentation. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it functions as split and steel for small things like that. I don't know about starting fires like a campfire, but I know it can definitely yeah. light a candle. Sure. If you wish me to light one, which one would you like me to light? So oh. Just, oh, they aren't around, lit. Oh, there's, um. There's like all the way around. There's like every two to three feet. There's one all the way around as far as you can see in the room. Light ours. Yeah. Um, he goes to light it, and whew, the candle lights, and it gives you about a five-foot radius worth of light. Sweet. That's not what I was hoping for, but I'm going to reach up with that candle and start lighting the candles as I head around. Okay. Um, as you move around slowly in the darkness as you shuffle, mm -hmm. every so often you come across a skeleton just standing there in the remnants of black robes with the sim same symbols that you saw on the door are in these robes as well. Some of the robes oh, that they're wearing are actually a deep, deep purple, very heavy cloth, mm -hmm. although it is all okay. sort of rat ratted and falling apart. As you're lighting the candles around, about halfway across, you come to an empty sconce. Hmm. I want to skip that sconce and keep going. Okay. As you get to... Um, the end, suddenly there's, you run into a black wall. It's literally a wall um, of blackness that you can't penetrate. You can't see through it. You can't touch through it. Nothing. It's like, it's not, gotcha. it's so, not there, but it's there. All right. So I'm going to go back to the empty scones after all the candles are lit and slip that one into the slot. You light it in and suddenly whoosh, everything sort of lights up and you guys the the black wall sort of fades away revealing a eerie sort of otherworldly view you see that there is this right where the black wall was the floor now ends and you can see this sort of mystical sort of misty fluid sort of moving around and through every one of them you can see skeletons sort of floating in and out as if they're sort of floating in air but it's actually a fluid um, there are these pillars that run all the way across that um, on either side of what looks to be some kind of a for lack of a better word it's a bridge but the bridge itself appears to be made of a shimmering kind of a light oh. got 12 on my religion check Fun. This is where you find yourselves. Oh, that's not ominous or bad. Mm. All, no, the way, it, yeah. all the way across, you can see that at the far side of the bridge, if you want to call it that, is this raised dais. And sitting on this raised dais is this sort of, <gasps> this sort of a hand um, although it doesn't show it on this one. Right in the center where the glowing symbol is, you can see there's actually this upturned hand. And on that hand, you can see an upside-down pyramid of some kind. Um, the statue itself is probably 8 to 10 feet tall. Uh, the hand itself, I mean. The pyramid going up another 10 feet or so, giving the whole thing this massive of about 15 to 20 feet high um, Again, and you can kind of see that. And so that's sort of a weird thing. But like I said, you're looking at this sort of this light bridge, if you will, um, that leads from where you're huh. at all the way across. Okay. Well, um, I think we would like to the first one to start strolling down towards that little area. Okay. Um, all right. 
you know, you're, you're, we still have the key, right? Yes. Yeah, you have the silver. Okay. So, so yeah. Finley, that was a pair of brass knockers. Yeah, the the yes. the, the pair of uh, the pair of brass um, door knockers are hanging on the front door where you guys put them. They didn't come out when you left. They they was what they what yeah. caused the door to open. You got the candle that you put in the, the golden candle that you put in the candle holder, the sconce, yep. and now you have a silver key as the last piece that you have left. Yes. Yep. And Figley is walking across the bridge. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, hang on. No. What is it? Oh. Oh, my, oh yeah. If you're just gonna go right on ahead, then I was gonna take a break from uh, uh, point lead. All right. Point so Figley, yeah, Figley gets yeah. about. Figley gets about halfway across the bridge. He hears and sees, well, he hears and feels before he actually sees a rumbling suddenly coming from beneath his feet and suddenly bursting up out of the water with a roar is this massive five-headed hydra. What the hell? And that's where we're going to pause for a break. Cool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. A hydra. Yep. Yeah. Yes. I wish I had my spells right now. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. a couple levels away from that, though. All right. So, mm. for those of you that are still hanging out with us, we definitely appreciate it. Um, looks like we got a few viewers. I'm probably thinking most of our viewers are actually mm-hmm. our uh, <laughs> our players, but that's okay. Um, mm-hmm. We are going to take what do you say, ten minute break. Will that be okay with you guys? And yeah. Then, yeah, it'll uh, work. I'll be enough time for then, me to get yeah. a drink. Yep. Made some ramen. Exactly. And why isn't that? That's kind of weird. Because you're not doing it right. Uh, it's because I got the wrong one. No worries. There we exactly. go. Exactly. Yeah, I guess go. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, man. So we will see you guys in about 10 minutes, man. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Hopefully, you guys will be here when we get back. So until then, talk to you in a little bit. Yeah. Be back. <laughs> What's the matter, Figly? <laughs> I'm tired, man. You all right? Figly be brave. Figly be quick. Figly go, oh yeah. shit, that's a Hydra. <laughs> Hail Hydra. <laughs> mm. So, um, uh, Sean, correct me on the mechanics here. Um, the, the, the Hydra's healing thing, was it uh, fire damage to stop all healing, or fire damage just does not heal back. Oh, he already left, didn't he? No, I'm she... here. I just on mute because I'm trying to eat. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not 100% sure what you, what you mean. Uh, I'm not going to give you game stuff. Oh, no, I was trying to remember how the, how it worked, because I ran it before my own game, and I don't remember, um, ran a hydro for my own game, I don't remember how it worked whether it was um just removed all healing or just the one damage didn't heal back that's all oh all right i'll be back
Hello, and we're back. Anybody else back with me? Not for sure. Not for sure. I'm here. Hey. I am. I'm just finishing off my uh, sandwich, so I'm going to be muted for a little bit longer. Okay. No problem. So. But I'm listening. Yep. So we have our combat set up. Um, I was just checking. Um, I have. I'm going to have to go to to D and D because I was just looking at uh, um, Mercy's character sheet in the game but it's uh, I want to go back and take a look at her character sheet in, in D&D Beyond because it had there's some stuff that she had that I was kind of interested in so I just wanted to go through the blood stuff just to make sure so she has she hasn't done the blood curse yet she can do that uh you can invoke a blood curse a number of times per short rest based on your level you can choose to amplify the curse uh mm -hmm. losing where's the other one the crimson right all right as a bonus action uh imbue a weapon to strike for 1d4 extra damage uh, mm -hmm. on activating the right take 1d4 right damage is magical and lasts while you hold the weapon until you complete a long rest so she can do that and then yeah that's the one i was looking at the yeah blood <clears throat> curses so i just want to see what she could do so for, she she's gonna lose well this is gonna be did she say it lasts until she completes a long rest no yes uh she go actually no on a short rest okay she gets them back um but i'm just looking right now she has seven hit points mm -hmm. and I was thinking on doing the blood curse, but, um, that, I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to do the blood curse on the creature and that's going to cost her one die four hit points because otherwise if I do the crimson, right <clears throat> with the, the electrical damage on the blade, that'll cost her another one die four. And I don't, she's only got seven hit points right now. And How long know. does her crimson, right last until, until she wills it away. So the Crimson oh. Right goes, or until combat's over, basically, so. Okay. So, yeah, it says, uh, right damage is magical and lasts while you hold the weapon or until you complete a short or long rest. So, actually, in a technical sense. If you sense, disarm her. Yeah. Actually, she's... technically, it's still in play, so she doesn't have yeah. to, she doesn't have to. Uh, yeah, that was my thoughts, that yep. she might just be able to. Uh... Yep. continue with her last crimson and, right because we and literally I, were just in combat i'm gonna give her one hit point back because she suffered one hit point activating mm -hmm. at this time when it should have been intact from the last game oh yeah right when she did it because you guys hadn't had a short rest after that so no all right cool 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 all right at least I'm, yeah because you guys are fighting the shadows and she did it so all right cool right all right so so once again as i said as Figley gets about halfway across, he he feels in um, more than before he sees as he hears this roar as the as this really strange um, syrupy fluid that's kind of flowing. It's almost like an ethereal um, thing with these ghost-like skeletons sort of moving in and out, suddenly bursting up out of that whole maelstrom is this massive five-headed hydra as its massive claws come down on top of the the light sort of mm -hmm. archway or or or, uh, or bridgeway um and slammed on onto it causing the whole thing to shake and as as figly standing oh. there his feet begin to slide a little bit as the slipperiness comes into play of of this particular bridge um so one must be very careful one on the bridge that one does not get booted off the edge and oh, let's see we are going to start combat because everybody rolled. And as Mercy begins, as she draws her weapon. You rolled? Uh, didn't you guys? Uh, I saw all these initiatives mm -hmm. in chat. So I don't know why. We never rolled them. Really? I didn't. My apologies. Everybody go ahead and roll initiative. That was my fault. I looked and saw all these initiatives, and I thought they were from the new one. So nope. absolutely. Everybody right. go ahead and roll their initiative. I already rolled for... All right, so I got one now for Hyacinth, and I got one for... I don't know that Jacob's back yet. Uh, 
Yeah, so Figley, I see you got a 14. Hyacinth, you got a 16, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm just going to need, as uh, I already rolled a Previscro and uh, Mercy already rolled. Previscro got a 13 and Mercy got a 17 before I cleared the chat. Um, oh, just waiting on uh, Nailo. That's what, that's what I said. Jacob's not here right now. Oh. And if he is, he's muted. Okay. All right, so we are just going to go with, uh, we're going to give Nailo a one until she comes back and rolls. All right, so as we move ourselves into skirmish mode. Cool. All right, so Mercy, as I said, as a bonus action, um, she is going to take a die for damage because that's just how she is. Three hit points mm -hmm. of damage as she curses the large creature before her oops as she curses curses the large creature before her with the curse of bloated agony as a bonus action your curse uh you curse a creature that you see well she's going to move up within 30 feet but within 30 feet of you to painfully swell until the end of your next turn for the duration of this curse, the creature has disadvantage on strength and dexterity ability checks and suffers 1 die 8 necrotic damage if it makes more than one melee or ranged attack during the curse. Cool. Um, this curse will last for one minute. At the end of each of its turns, it can make a constitution saving throw. So every time this thing goes, it can roll a con save. If it makes a save, the curse ends. But in the meantime, she's going to move up here. I think she has a ranged weapon as well. Uh, yep, she is going to make her ranged attack 18 as she, I believe that hits. Had to make sure what the its armor class is. Yep, the 18 hits. Cool, cool, cool. And damage, six piercing damage. To the Hydra. All right, hang on. That's not how many it's got. I think I had. Yeah. And she did six, I said. Yeah. All right. So as uh, as she gets within range and she curses the creature, um, letting loose her uh, um, uh, letting loose her hand crossbow as as the it strikes the creature and you hear it sort of roar. Um, in pain as it actually hits. Hyacinth, you are up. Cool. Up. I am... Um, hmm. I'm a little... I don't know what to have. Got 14 hit points. Cool, 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 cool. I am going to... Just... I'm going to throw some darts at it. All I'm right. not really feeling about getting all up in its space right now. I'm just going to throw a dart at it. All right, you are currently 50 feet away. Oh, I think that's fine. Actually, no, I'll, I'm going to get a little closer and throw that. Okay. There you go here, I guess by this pillar thing. Yep. Up next to Mercy. Yep, you're now 20 feet away. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I threw the dart at it. 16 hits. 16. Yes. Oh, cool. It means I did five piercing damage. Nice. Unless I don't really want to do... Also, I figured out the thing I was thinking of. I actually can bonus action dash, not disengage. Okay. Okay. For whatever. I thought you, I thought you could do any of them. I thought it was like bonus action dash. Yeah, but that's for... No, that's for um the monk thing. For But for the way of the oh, wanderer, we oh, oh, that oh. I do a bonus action dash. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's in the way of the wander. I just wanted to let you know that I figured out the thing I was trying to think of earlier. Right. Um, do I want to... Hmm. So I moved how many feet? There's no grid on 20, this. Yeah. Um, let me do. I can. Let me see if I can. Let me go to the map here real quick. Thank you mm -hmm. for. I didn't. Wasn't really sure if we would need it, but let me edit the map. And then. We I mean, will... the grid is just very helpful. That I can't see how. I don't know how far across this bridge is. There you go. Second, I think I might need to. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So I've moved. You said you, you moved about twenty feet or so. Twenty feet. So actually thirty feet. Sorry, from from where you guys entered 30. to there is thirty feet. 
30 feet, so that's... Uh, mm, nah, I'm gonna stay where I'm at, for okay. now. Alright. Yeah, that's my move. Alright. That's what I did. As the Hydra moves up just a couple feet, as two of its heads go to strike down um, at um, the gnome. However, before that, it suffers as it begins to swell. You can see these little pustules begin to sort of form on it as the, the blood curse um, inflicted upon it by mercy begins to sort of take effect as the hydra begins to sort of bubble and swell a little bit. And as it goes to attack, it suffers eight hit points of blood magic damage. Um, at the end of its turn, it will, however, it's going to do... Two of its heads are going to bite. Uh, as eight, as the first bite misses, at Good. 22, the second Ooh. bite hits for three hit points of piercing damage to Figly. All right. And now it is going to roll really a constitution saving throw. I am? No. The, it, oh. Yep. Um, and so it's not at disadvantage. It's only disadvantage on strength. So it passed its constitution saving throw. So the curse now wears off. So it will not take any damage if it tries to um, attack with more than one melee attack. So it can attack with more than one head now. All right, so um, Figly, you took three hit points of piercing damage, and it is your turn. I noticed. Um, all righty. So Figly doesn't want to get near this thing, but... It uh, he's also kind of halfway across this bridge. Okay. So he's going to go ahead and use his action to... Actually, wait. Can I put his action to disengage? Might be able to. You're rogue. Actually, can you do something for me really quick? Can you give, yeah, sure. me, give me a dexterity saving throw really quick? Uh, okay. I apologize. You got hit by the by creature, therefore it could potentially send you off the edge. Yeah. Let me just see... It only here. Oh no, no, that's a strength save. No, no, that's a strength oh, save. Gotcha. No, no. <laughs> no, the wrong one. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's weird because like the the sheet splits it up between each one. Yeah. Yeah. That's Twenty-two. Crazy. Absolutely. Uh, every time. Oh, okay. Actually. Okay, I'm gonna. I don't like how they have this written. I'm gonna do it my way. Uh, hit. Okay. Hit. Yep. So if you get hit, you have a dexterity saving throw to be prone. If it hits you while you're prone, um, you have to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid being pushed over the side and into the maelstrom. Nice. Okay. All right. So you were saying now that you have, as this thing strikes you, you feel yourself slide a couple of feet, um, almost like you're standing on ice, um, but you manage to maintain your balance as you decide what you want to do. I want to take my bonus action oh. to disengage. Are you kidding? Hang on a second. Somehow I got hmm. logged out of... How crazy was that? Okay, I'm back. It's like suddenly I log got logged out. I'm hmm. like, what the heck happened? I think I hit one of the side buttons on my mouse or something. But anyway, I apologize. Say that again, Figly. I'm going to take my bonus action to disengage. Okay. And then I'm going to use my action to dash, and I'm just going to okay. run for it. Okay. Go ahead and uh, move yourself. How far? You got 5, 10, 15, 20, 40, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. 50, yeah, 60. Uh, your movement's 30? I thought it was 25. Well, I dashed. Uh, it's 30. So, I'm a gnome. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. That's fine. I knew you were dashing, but I thought it would be 50 instead of 60, but that's fine. Um, so, uh, Figly, really quick, give me a, uh, um, perception check. Doo -doo -doo. So, as you get over there, um, you can see all these weird and arcane symbols, um, all over the floor and sort of the light oh. sort of crackling through. You can see this huge hand holding this upside-down pyramid, and right at the base of the upside-down pyramid, you can see what looks to be a keyhole. Right where the pyramid sits in the palm of the hand... You can see a keyhole about six to eight inches up. Uh -huh. So it's uh, the hand itself is about seven feet tall. 
and the pyramid's another 10 or 15 feet tall. So you, but you can see the keyhole in the base of the uh, at the base of the pyramid. Who's holding the key? Is it? Um, I will. Uh, Nilo. Gonna, I'm gonna say Nilo. Yes. I think it's Nilo. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta wait for it to come back. Yep. Oh, wait. So, but that meeting? that being said. Um. Oh, you're back. I'm here. All right. Roll it. Yeah, yeah. Roll I guess you didn't get my Discord. Um, I rolled a twelve. I think was yeah, twelve. Okay. All right. Well, you're still at the bottom. Um. Yeah. Makes no difference. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Figly, that's what you see as you get there. <laughs> that's what you see as you get there is uh, that. I mean, everything else is just sort of fluff around it, but that keyhole really catches your eye. Anything else for you, Why? sir? Uh, I would like to wish very much that I had a cool silver key to go in the keyhole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so you begin to wish, and nothing's happening yet, but just hold that thought. Well, maybe if I try hard enough, okay, something will happen. Right. As, as Paviscro comes moving up here and he whacks uh, he whacks her once again with his hammer. Cool. As he goes, I removed your damage from oh. you. I fix you. As she gets nine hit points back. Pretty good. Very good. She reverses nine damage. Yes. Oh. Reverses to nine damage. Yes. And that is... Uh, sorry, let me take that off of his... Off of his spell sheet here real quick. Very cool. This is why I don't... Uh... All right, he has one left. I'm going to do one out of three. Okay. All right. That is that's him, and that brings us to Nilo. What are you gonna? All right. Do? So let me get this straight. Um, the uh, the Hydra is what fifty foot away from her at the end of the bridge here. Uh, Mercy and Hyacinth engage it. They're both out of engagement range though. Mm -hmm. um, Figly got caught up in it. And then disengaged, ran up to the statue. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Pavisco ran up and healed Mercy or Hyacinth for Mercy. Nine. Yes. Mercy, okay. Mercy for nine. All right. I don't think Hyacinth has taken much damage, if any. Um, I did take a lot of Is, bit uh, of damage in the last fight, oh, but I gotcha. healed myself. Gotcha. So okay. I'm did um is the Hydra on the platform, or yes. is he in the water, and we're it's, just hitting heads? No, it's it's kind of crawling its way out, so it's sort of halfway out but its heads you can still attack all of its heads. okay um okay i i don't remember if this was a just in a i don't remember if it was you have to have the feet for it or if you can just do it um can i charge which is double move and then an attack at the end no there is no or no okay no, all right that's specifically the feet okay um gotcha gotcha okay i'm going to uh, draw. I'm going to bring my crossbow up from where it's slung. Okay. Load and fire. And then I'm going to move up 30 after that. Okay. So that'll be exclamation A crossbow. Haha! -ha! Huzzah! 12! 12, 12 to hit! 12 or 12 misses. to miss! Yes, 12 misses. It's <laughs> 12 to miss. As we recall, it's armor class is 15. <laughs> So when I moved fifteen, you, okay, I wasn't too far off. I moved. Oh, uh, move me, up. move me thirty up. I moved you straight up. 30. Yeah, that works. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. All right. Anything else for you? Hmm. Obligatory smart person check. Hold on, I meant to do this. I would have done this as it came out of the water. Oh, not attack. See, nature. Uh, I, I know it is a reptile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> intelligence is knowing what you're fighting, but wisdom is not knowing, not necessarily knowing what you're fighting, but knowing that you don't want to fuck with it. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Yeah. As, like as Mercy says thank you to Paviscro for healing her wounds, grabs her second blade, and sh as they both. Uh, as the one crackles with energy and they both sort of whirl in her hands, she sort of goes, ah, 
and sort of leaning forward moves into attack. As she gets she dual, attack. Do wielder. She she, attack. She attacks. One of them has lightning on it. So the first attack. Twenty-four hits. Uh, eight slashing. Plus two light. Oh, hell yeah. Ten damage there. Let's and, go. And then the second attack. Eighteen hits. Another eight slashing for a total of eighteen slashing damage. To the creature, and because she's dual wielding, her armor class is now 16 instead of 15. Cool. So, so cool. I said 18, right? So that's uh, perfect. Cool. As she goes up and slam, slam, and it was so close. If she, only she could get 25 damage. That'd have been awesome. But um, that leaves her. So Hyacinth. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna. Um... Oh man, what do I want to do? I don't like being on the bridge because <laughs> it's slippery, and I don't want to fall into the into the. Oh, abyss. bridge is slippery. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, bridge I know it can knock you. I know there is rules for knocking off. I heard those yes. rules. I so, didn't realize it was actually slippery. The, the the bridge is sort of like walking on a uh, mm -hmm. on ice, only not quite as bad. However, it is slick, and if the monster hits you, you have to make a deck save, mm -hmm. and if you fail, you go prone. If it hits you while you're prone, yeah. Then you have to do a you slide it off to to avoid sliding. Yeah, it just off the slaps board. you, slaps you like a hockey puck. Exactly. Mm. All right. Can I can I swing by Naelo, get the key, and then just run across this bridge? Um, you let's, yeah. yes. So I would say yes. <laughs> that would give you ten feet to get to it her. Would not be buried yeah. in her bag. No, it's going to be... Would it be yeah, know. I was going to say, I'm sure you're going to have it It's going to be insane. Handy. We just got it. Yeah. Hey, give me the key. Ooh, nice silver key. Oh, right yeah. there in the back. I'm bored of it. Cool. Grassy. Okay, I'm going to use that bonus action to dash across this bridge. No, 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 no. Run, bitch, run! Here, wait, when I get here, I'm going to... I still have my action because it's dashing, and I'm assuming that was a free action to grab an object yeah. from her. Yes. So I'm going to throw a dart before I leave range. Okay. Better yet, throw the key. <laughs> a parting gift. No, I'm, I, can, I have more movement, so... Aw, well, it's not as cool 22. that way. 22, and then I do four piercing damage. Congrats to me, and then nice. I run, 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 run the rest of the way. I think right. that's... Actually, wait. Let me do a count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Bonus action dash, I like it. You're the one who gave it to me. Yep, and I, I'm, 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 I'm at Figly. I'm like, cool. Yep. I did it. I made it all As you get up there, Figly notes, I'm assuming, um, points out. Give me the key. Give me the key. Can you even reach that? I, I can. I, I, I'm more adept than I look. Okay, but if you can't reach it, let me know. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Hands Figly the key as the Hydra moves completely onto. The center of the bridge Bird. as give me the keys on solid ground that's really all i needed <laughs> oh as it brings all five heads to bear whoa damn that's a lot of heads that's a lot of heads mm -hmm. and there's only one person in front of it cool one Not me. five critical miss <laughs> critical miss. So I'm going to say with the critical miss, only half of its heads get to attack. Therefore, only two of the heads are going to get to attack. So the second is a 16 and it misses. So the second head attack also misses because her armor class is now... Oh, wait. No, I take it back. I think that hits. Mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, because... Yep, oh, yeah, I believe it hits. Yep, it is 16. Yep. I was thinking she had 16 plus one, but it's 15 plus one. So it's mm -hmm. bite damage... Um, five piercing damage to the warrior, not Hyacinth. <laughs> so 
So Mercy takes five hit points of damage from one of the heads. As fortunately, as the creature sort of lumbers up on there, it goes to swing its head down and bite, and it slips and slides, catching it as it, before its claws sort of rake in and bury mm -hmm. in, making it firmly stand uh, on this. But until then, it's too late, and only its second head uh, manages to strike out and lash her, uh, catching her off guard. But um, now she has to make a dexterity saving throw. Where we go. As she fails as Hyacinth goes prone. So now I'm going to... Oh. Hyacinth only goes prone next to Figly. Yeah. yeah. As some of the three force knocks her off her feet. <laughs> yes, you yeah, guys... I'm on solid ground and somehow... Oh my god, happened. I did it again. Damn it. As Mercy... <laughs> as Mercy fails... <laughs> Mercy fails to save. As you guys watch her feet go out from underneath her and she lands on a solid oof, um, you can almost feel her back striking into this as she's clinging tenaciously from being knocked off the edge. Um, but that ends the Hydra's turn. Figly. All right. Uh, so uh, what, do, what do I need to do to get to this keyhole? So I am going to need a athletics check to climb um as you sort of work around you find that this thing is smooth but it's not so smooth that you can't maybe try to climb up it um so i am going to need an athletics check for you to climb up or to have hyacinth help boost you up to where you can get into the palm of this statue and once you get to the palm of the statue you'll be able to um to kind of reach up there unfortunately you scramble and scramble and claw and try to get up there um but it's just too slick um for you to to make any purchase on the side and climb up to to get to where the, mm -hmm. the keyhole is uh, you're sure you got this right you're sure you got it uh it, yes uh, uh it's it's probably because i i have, still have the key in one of my hands okay Sure. Uh, but maybe maybe a, maybe a little boost would uh would help. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You going? This high uh, hyacinth is helping him to climb up. Yeah. So go yeah. ahead and roll again. Uh, let you roll with advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. As as are. hyacinth gets up and all by myself and shoves you upwards like a shot put. <laughs> As you, <laughs> as you land in the palm of the hand, slipping, almost falling, you manage to lash your hand out and grab a hold of the, the pyramid base of the statue and grab and finally get yeah. uh, yourself stable enough where you can pull up and, and sit. And then you can easily, it's only a couple, like 12, 13 inches, you know, up from the palm is this little keyhole. Put the key in yeah. there. Twist it. All right. You hear this little hum and a as the key sort of locks in place, suddenly around the edge of the keyhole and on the pyramid, you see this little thin white line appear and it moves all the way horizontally across. And as it gets to the edges where the pyramid are, it sort of goes up along the edges of the pyramid, goes up about a foot or so. And then you hear this whoosh, and almost like a humming, sort of a high pitch humming, this door begins to slowly open. Inside the door, you can see there's a little compartment of some kind, and there's this ornate wooden box with lined with fur and sitting right in the uh, center of the fur is this beautiful, beautifully preserved claw. It's sort what of is a, there? It's sort of a... I don't know, it's about six inches long. It's slightly curved. It has a little base to it. Um, looks like it was has been worked or polished or, or sanded to make it smooth to attach it onto something mm -hmm. on its base. But it's sitting in this little, like I said, it's an ornate box with this fur in it. Okay. I, I, there's there's a, a furry box, uh, which I'm, I'm first going to poke at it with my dagger to make sure that, you know, it's not going to like... I'm not gonna go grab at it, and then bad bad news happens because you know okay. I just try to walk across a bridge, and then suddenly there's a hydra. <laughs> I don't know what's coming next. All right. Um, so, hang on just a second. Let me see with this. Uh, I want to see if uh, uh... boxes a mimic. Roll initiative again. 
<laughs> uh, I just want to make sure that. Uh... Yeah. All right. So fortunately, you had the key because it could be picked, but um, the. Trying to pick the lock would have caused bad things to happen. However, um, you manage to poke at it and nothing happens. The fur moves. The thing kind of shifts shifts a little bit in the fur. Um, but other than that, nothing happens. All right, cool. So I'm going to take the whole box because, uh, right. you know, grabbing hold of the box, do. you see the box itself is probably six inches on a side. Um, and the wyvern's claw. Oh, okay, claw. so it's a big box. Yeah, it's like six inches each on each side, right? Okay. Um, square with a little, like I said, the, the base is just a, a piece of fur. Um, sitting yeah. And then sitting on top of the, the fur is is the uh, is the claw. Um, All right. Like I said, it's a very big claw. The claw itself is about four or five inches long, almost filling the box end to end. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. other than that, it doesn't look any special. I have a I have a cool ornate claw. Sweet, it's um, a harbinger, the harbinger of doom. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so that's your action for this turn. Yeah. All right. Wait, do we ever actually tell Figley what we were doing here? No, but he did say he has a sweet claw, and I heard that for sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm here so looking so for leave to prove to my guild, and uh, it started with the T. I forget the name of the place. It was it was uh, it was like north of where we're at. Trask. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, were you? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. no I'm not about, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, they were all like, oh, you never, you never pay the bills for you. You never can contribute. So I'll, I'll show them. Yep. With, with this so, cool claw. And then this as goes, says guys, it's a harbinger of doom. As, yeah, as you turn around <laughs> and you sort of start climbing back down, um, you see mm -hmm. that the, the rest of your party is fully engaged with this massive five-headed hydra right smack dab in the middle of the bridge blocking your way back so that being said uh, that's your action and now it yep. is now it is Paviscro as Paviscro launches a firebolt at the creature and 18 hits as he does oh. 8 hit points of fire damage to to Lehydra sweet nice and he is going to Let's see what's the range on Firebolt is I want to say like 200 some odd feet. 60. Yeah, it's, it's a like, lot of. It's, it's like 120. Yeah, it's like, it's, I thought it was 120, but anyway, we're going. That's to, if you have sniper on. It's fine. That's okay. That's if you have spell sniper. He's, he's more than Either happy. way, he's, he's well within. He's, he's more than well happy within. to move. Back yeah. here. Yep, he's more than happy to move back here out of its range, and now up to Nilo. All right. Um, what's more important, hitting the thing or helping the blood hunter up? Would uh, helping the blood hunter up provoke attack opportunity? Uh, no, because you're not going to be out of its. I'll say no because you're not going to be out of its. Uh, you're not moving out of its. Okay. Contact. So, um, Nilo is not going to attack it. She's instead going to run up, grab Mercy. Come on, Mercy. We can't be fighting if you're on the ground. Help her up. Okay. Um. So moving right up next, sir. Give me, give me an athletics check with advantage. All right. That's going to be uh, athletics. Let's see if this works right. ADV. Uh, uh boop, there it is. Nice. I like that. Right, 18. So <laughs> you go, as you go and you grab her, um, you start to slide a little bit as you pull her up, but you do manage to get her up and no longer prone as she's like gives you a nod of thanks. Um, but that brings us to, to her as she immediately um, uh, turns back to the yeah, She the, does more uh, damage to, to me anyways. <clears throat> turns back to the task at hand. <laughs> The lightning crackling down one of her blades as the first blade misses. The second blade misses as well. Unfortunately, she was not able to do anything with the aid that you gave her, but at least she's no longer okay. um, at least she's no longer prone. prone. And that Maybe I do more damage than her. <laughs> Hyacinth. <laughs> the turning. Mm. Mm. 
I mean, I'm going to have to hit it, obviously, but I don't know what, how I'm going to do that. Do we want to just... How big is the Hydra? How big is the Hydra? Yeah, how big is the Hydra? Um, like, is it really, really long. tall? It's huge. Yeah, they're like huge creatures. They're, I mean... How big would you say the door to this chamber place is? Is it really big? <laughs> well, the door to the chamber, each door was yeah. about 15 feet tall and... Mm -hmm. Roughly ten I feet wide. Can we just run? Can we just leave? Uh, Is that okay? Okay. Will the Hydra fit through the door to chase us out? Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Uh, yeah, I would say yeah, but I mean, it would have to get oh. the doors open because it would have to open the door all the way and then burst through it and then come after you guys, etc. So it might give you a little well, advantage getting away. I but, think at the very least, fighting the Hydra in a position that's like not slippery bridge is good yeah i like the idea of not fighting it on the bridge but like so like i don't know how to do that in this i guess we could get it to come to statue time um yeah that's yeah. true could bring it over here i could just keep throwing pot shots at it from over here though instead of getting all close yeah, it would. Um, in order to do that, probably everybody would have to be over there. Yeah. yeah. Or everybody would have to go the other way and go out. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. What you want her? What do you want the team to do? Hey, do we want to be fighting the thing on the bridge? <laughs> it looks slippery. Can we like lure it either this way or that way? Oh. Uh. We're just not heading off the bridge, and we already have to go out, and we'd rather not be caged in here. Okay, yeah. So that's a good that's a good enough plan for me, I suppose. You wait there. My risk of mercy and I will start to pull back. Hopefully it follows us and doesn't go after you two. If not, then run like hell. Gotcha. I am going to come up a little bit, just to the edge of the bridge. Okay. And then, because it's 5, 10, 15, 20... Um, what's the range on this stupid dart? Actually, I can go forward a little bit further yeah. and then go back. Yeah, okay, there. I can go forward and then go back onto a solid ground okay. after I throw my dart. I'm going to throw a dart! All right. Throw darts. Dun, 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 dun. Dart. 18 hits, four piercing. Nicely done. Cool, cool. And then I'm going to get back on solid ground real quick. Just to... The dart obviously annoys the thing as it sort of gives a roar with one of its heads and it sort of flips around and, and it eyes and sees you and, and Figly over there as it once again turns its attention back to the two little pesky critters in front of him. And yeah. These are my hopes. Thanks a lot. You just angered him. Yeah, well, you know, keep it. All right, gotta, so three. If, if the leaving doesn't work, we're going to need that. You're going to need two, it to be hurt. Two heads attack. Are going to go against Mercy. The other three heads are going to go against Nailo. Okay. Jeez, that's a lot of heads. Yep. Uh, eight misses Mercy. Misses. Good. Fourteen misses Mercy. Awesome. Good. Twenty-two hits Nailo for three piercing. No, don't. Rude. Sixteen. What's your armor class? It misses. What's your armor 18. class? 18. Okay. Yeah. And the last one misses as well. So total of three hit points of piercing damage suffered to Nailo from one of the heads as she manages to dance, buck, uh, oh. bob, and weave. But unfortunately, one of them gets through. Figly, it is your action, sir. Uh, I want so to point I... out that... Uh... Huh? Uh, I want to point out that Nailo is not looking too good. Sitting at uh, about 10%. Cool. Ooh. That's not great. Uh, <laughs> how many hit points you have? Three. Three? Um, so... I, can take one, I can take one you more hit. Hang you on a might want to disengage. Hang on a second. So you suffer, you're down to, I wanted to look what the... Three. Yeah, I'm trying to remember oh. what the... Uh, uh, where was it? Um, uh, well, ten percent. But I, your... I can take one more blow from it. Yeah. So oh, if you take, oh, yeah. if you um, take one well, more not, hit point, not ten percent. Yeah. If you're, at, if you, get yeah, one more yeah. hit point, you'll be at ten percent. 
Uh, so yeah. I'd, I'd like to plan my escape route, but, um, there seems to be a pretty big obstacle in the way of that plan. Um, uh, <laughs> I... <I'm... laughs> should, should, should we just chill here? Like... I think if we wait I, here... I, I'm, until... I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with it, huh? Yeah, I, I, mean, I finally yeah. got the prize, but, you know, that's only half the heist, so... You really don't want- you really don't want that thing, I promise you. Oh, I didn't tell you, we are actually here for that claw, because it's going to bring about the end of the world if we don't do something about it. What?! <laughs> I drop it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. As, as you, as you I just say, thought you and, um, if, if, uh, are you dropping it, really? I did. <laughs> Okay, um, no. as much as I'd like to say yeah, that alone makes me want to say no, I was joking. Uh, um, because so may maybe, maybe like, a, like a drop it and then like, be like, oh shit, and then like, catch it. Okay. I was gonna say, because if you drop it, there's a percent chance that uh, one of those little grooves, it catches it and it drops into the maelstrom. But. Oh, okay, got it. Because where you guys are standing. Yeah, no, it's a joke. Yeah. I knew I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. But I. Understand. A funny joke. Yes. A funny joke. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, maybe yeah. Not. Yeah. If we don't get it out of this temple, whole world might end. No. So they did not. Um, so basically, um, what happens is, and this is a question in chat about saving not to go prone. Sorry, I just saw it. Basically, no. for this particular encounter, if they take a hit by the Hydra, they have to make a saving throw, or they'll be knocked or be knocked prone. If they mm -hmm. save, then they're able to maintain their balance because the although it's not super slippery, it is slippery enough where you can be knocked prone. And while you're prone, mm -hmm. if you take a hit, then there's a percent chance or the, a saving throw chance where they could be knocked off the bridge into the maelstrom sort of surrounding the area. So yeah, so great question, man. Um, and by the way, folks, uh, if, if, uh, if you have not already seen don't forget that if you use your Paranlin Grossmark uh, coins, you can buy these guys Nat 1s and Nat 20s. Don't forget the party still has a Nat 1 um, in Indeed. your pocket you when you guys one. are able to use it. Um, mm -hmm. If you buy them a Nat 1 or a Nat 20 or they want to give it to the DM, we're allowed to use that any time in the game to replace any die roll. Um, so if I hit a Nat 20 and, and they say, oh, no, well, they're going to replace my Nat 20, because they have a nat one in their pocket they can definitely use that um, the only mm -hmm. stipulation is you can't do it post action so they have to have it on hand now like we uh card man bought one earlier so they have a nat one sitting for use if something gets out of hand they can mm -hmm. swap out one of my die rolls for a nat one um and also if you haven't followed man please do uh we're trying to get the get ourselves over 100 and uh, definitely appreciate mm -hmm. that oh and looky there um somebody just used uh, monkey boogers. What do you want to give that to, monkey? Nice. What do you want to give that to, monkey? Hey, man, thanks for the follow, dude. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Definitely appreciate that. Catch us every other Friday. And also, if you like first edition, we play first edition every single Monday. So, uh, definitely. So, this is for the party yeah. as well. So, party, you now have two Nat ones. Make sure we, uh, make sure we take note of that. Um, that you guys now have a second awesome. one. So, that being said, let's get back to the game. Um, what do you guys want to do? I should say, uh, who's, who's up now? <laughs> I guess I lost Figly. It. Yeah. Figly, Figly just you... finished. So I believe it's probably scroll. Well, Figly hasn't really done anything. Yeah, right? Figly, is there something you want to do? Yeah, I was going to say. Well, I... that, he... that, that, that was the point of contention is, uh, yeah. Figly would very much like to bail out of here, but you know, there's kind of a big, big Hydra in the way. Yeah. And gotcha. do you think you can get around the Hydra? Um... If, uh, if there's enough distraction, perhaps, uh, if you'd be willing to go with me. 30, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60. If you dashed and then disengaged, you could technically, I think, get around it. Well, the problem comes, uh, comes after the fact, uh, I, 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 I yeah, Figly, I, I don't want to, I don't want to get yeah. chased. Yeah, Figly, if, if, yeah, if Figly was to dash, he would be able to mm -hmm. get to the, the pillars, the center, the center pillars. Yeah. You would, okay. if, if you were going, if you were to go to the pillar on the right, 
you would be out of melee range because its melee range is actually 10 feet. Its heads can go 10 feet. Uh, okay. So you would be just out of out of range um, from where it's at to well, here. the pillar. I, I technically Maybe. have a turn, so I'll, like right there. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll prep myself. I'll get ready. Okay. Okay, that's cool, yeah. So you're just going to move right to there? Yes. Okay, cool. Anything else that you want to do? No, sir. All right, Paviscro is staying right where he's at, and once again, he is going to send his firebolt to blast at the high. I don't blame him. From a distance, because he loves you guys. But um, actually, um, Nilo, um, he decides against that. No, no, he can stay back there. If I need to patch myself up, I'm going to go back to the person with the magic and have them touch me. I'm not going to have him come up in the attack range. Okay. <laughs> and if you go down... Risk is a soldier and he knows how that works. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he'll send the firebolt. 16 as he hits. Oh, unfortunately only does, does one, one hit damage. point of damage. It's okay. Every little point helps. Yeah. All right. Nailo. Go to turn. All right. So, first things first. Um, Mercy, we should start pulling back. Don't worry about the others. I'll follow behind. I'm going to disengage and back up 30 foot. Okay. Just straight back. Um, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That'll put you... Uh, mm -hmm. That'll put you about 15 feet inside the... Uh, inside the... Uh, um, Onto the onto the bridge. Yeah. yeah, I think I keep. I think I keep. Uh, That's okay. Don't worry about it. We're good. Click, click. We're good. Do I want to disengage? Okay. If I disengage, only one attack can hit me, right? If you disengage, none of them. Or no, if, if I if I do not disengage, only one head can actually attack me, right? No, five heads can attack you. Why would oh, it? they all have their yeah, own we... separate actions. Yeah, they all have their own separate actions. It gets as number of attacks as it has heads. Okay, because the uh, yeah, all right, all right, because the because the opportunity attacks, you usually only get one attack action. You don't get um, multi attack with the opportunity yeah. attacks. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to disengage. All right. So, just out of curiosity, and remind me because again, I always between one a and five, yeah, I get a lot of things confused. Where does is the mm -hmm. disengage a standard action anybody can do? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. it's it's just a normal action people yep. can do. Yep. So that uh, they can get hit, like other yes. creatures can't use the reaction gotcha. to yeah. attack them, but like I'm special, I can bonus action yeah, disengage. Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew you can. So, I'm the same. Yeah. But Mer I need key point. Yeah, Mercy is gonna do something similar. Um, she's gonna move about twenty. She's gonna disengage and she's gonna move over here. And that's going to be her turn, as the Hydra is none too happy about that. We're on the third round. And now, so Hyacinth, you are up. As you watch your companions mm -hmm. sort of disengage and, and start moving back toward the entrance from mm -hmm. when you guys came in, trying to draw the Hydra away. But mm -hmm. as they do, the Hydra sort of stomp, 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 and begins to turn as its heads whip around, looking in your direction, knowing what's over there. Cool, 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 cool. I... I'm counting spaces. <laughs> Give me a second. I have a lot of movement because I'm a monk and that's kind of my thing. <sighs> God, like and I was watching... like, I can't take Figgly with me. <laughs> Bye again. Anymore. I'd be like halved at that point. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 50 60, 65, 70, 75. <laughs> actually make it pretty far with 80 feet of movement um yeah i think you can actually clear that whole bridge almost i can basically clear the whole bridge and then i because somebody decided to give me dash as a bonus action for that's free, that's is... way of the wanderer man it's just how i roll yeah i can move very quickly um hmm yeah but i can't but then i leave thickly all alone with the harbinger of doom thing that being said, you still be moving through. It's no, I can move literally. Like I also, if I have bonus action and 
bonus action dash, I can just disengage as an action. True. Okay. I got you. But <sighs> I just feel badly when you have a whole alone over here, Fig. You could always ready an action to do that. Hmm? Oh. Mm, well, I think it might be better if I maybe just, like, maybe I can draw its attention away, at least, and back towards the other end of the bridge where there's a bunch of us. But that all, it also might be that monster sees lone gnome man and decides upon him. Uh, Figly mm. has the key, right? Or Figly has the uh, claw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Figly, Figly has, has the claw. claw. Got it. That's also the thing I was thinking about. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Figly never thought he was going to make it anyway, so just push him off into the maelstrom and take the key and go. Uh, take the clock hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, big, big, uh, big mistake there, buddy. Uh, the people in, like, guild never thought I was going to make it. That's why I'm here. I'm going to prove them wrong. I, I actually like... pulled my own weight. <laughs> Look, I... Hey, he's saving the world right now. And, and apparently in this circumstance, I'd be stopping about the end of all, so that's <laughs> yeah. a pretty big win for Figly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um fuck. Uh, da, 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 da. Figly, would you I can't give go me now? I just started. Uh I guess. That'd be great, because I don't know if that thing is guarding it or not. But maybe if I have claw. Oh sure, a hider on a bridge. Yeah, one exit, on and like one one bridge there and back. It is like, really you think there's they just put a hydra here just because? Yeah, just because. Okay, yes. just give me the give me the claw, and I'm gonna run. Fine. I can run very fast and maybe draw its attention away. Bigly hands you the claw. Okay. Sweet. Reluctantly. Uh, then very quickly. Run, 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 run. Move run, yourself run, run, to where run, you're run. gonna move to. It's like. Do I have any more after that? It's 510. So as you're moving past it. 540, um, 550. I disengage is my action action. Yep. So as you're as you're passing by it, you watch as the heads all snap around as it sort of sees you go by and its heads try to snap, but you're way too quick for it as the Hydra. Yeah, I'm just like dodging and bobbing and weaving around a bunch of heads. As the Hydra. Yep, I'm Check yelling dog. at it the Check whole dog. time. Like, ha <laughs> get, get me, asshole. As the Hydra. Mm -hmm. Moves up. Cool. I'd love to see that. Attacks at you guys. One head at Nailo. Seventeen. I believe that. Ooh, I believe that's that, a miss. I I that's that a miss. Misses. Misses. Two heads at mercy. No. Cool. Yeah, oh. two heads at mercy. Seven misses mercy. Five. That one. That one. That one. So only one head goes at at um, hyacinth as opposed to the last two. Cool, cool, cool. Twenty-one. Oh, of course. Oh, that's fine. Of course, seven, she's got hit. seven hit points of piercing damage to Mercy. Oh, that's fine. It's, it's not Mercy, but okay. Oh my damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, looking, oh, she finally called Mercy. That's the Mercy. first time I was looking at her character sheet when I said that, which is why I said that. But yes, yes, seven. I hit can points, take a bite. Yes, seven hit points of piercing damage to Hyacinth. Cool, cool, cool! The, I love to hear it. I love to see are. it. As we are up for, as what Crimson Shane says, Fugly Figly. All right. So Figly is going to, I guess now in his position, he's just going to end up right behind the Hydra. Uh, quite possibly. Okay. Yep. Oh, thank you. Very much. See, the players out there, I need a dexterity saving throw from Hyacinth, please. All People right. out there in chat keeping the DM honest. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am, as the case may be. Let's do 23 quick roll. save. I'm easily, very dexterous. Easily saves as the dexterous monk just sort of jumps in the air and lands I... back on her feet saying, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. All right, Figly, Cranklefoot, what See. do you want to do? All right, so it's my 60 foot of movement with the dash and the disengage. I can get right here. 
<laughs> very cool. Very what cool. a great spot. That is a really, really good spot. If he, if, you, didn't, you didn't even need to do what, do a disengage if you're still in his space. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so maybe. Can, it, can, it. can I? Can I? Can, that, uh, can I try and? Would that? Can I, uh, there give him cover? No, no, no. Hold, hold on. Can I? Can I? Uh, where is it? Let me look my. Yeah. Can, let, let me just like go. Uh, I'll, I'll chill by this pillar. Can, can I bonus action try and try and hide? Sure. Trying to hide behind, hide yeah. behind this pillar. Yep. <laughs> give me a stealth check. It is technically facing us right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, All the heads. Absolutely. As as you guys watch, as somehow, some way, Figley gets right to that to the one of the pillars that's sort of standing um, halfway across the bridge, mm -hmm. and he just sort of blends into it and sort of creeps around the side until he's sort of just out of view where you guys can't quite see him. Um, I get out of a rock gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration for the rock gnome. Yes. That's hilarious. As, yes. as Paviscro once again launches with his firebolt. 21 hits for 9 damage. Very nice. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Nailo. All right. Hmm. Shane, potty mm. mouth, be nice. <laughs> I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to whack it. Okay. Okay. And? I miss. 11, miss. Yes. And then I back, and then I, uh, I, I, I back up. Uh, um, you know it gets a free attack now, right? Yes, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. He moved in. He had to move into range to attack it, and then he's backing up. So he's moving into range and then out of range. I'm already, I'm already in engagement uh, range with it. it. With it, it can all. Yeah, but you have to. But ah, you know what? Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. You're gonna move up to to engage because you have to move up to your own. Oh, angle. I have to. Oh, okay. I'm not. You oh, I, I, I thought it was right next to it. No, you have to move Oh, okay, up five never mind. Feet. No, I'm just saying, if you moved up, and here's what I'm thinking. If you move up five feet to engage it and attack, and then you move back five feet, you're still within its attack zone, so it won't get a free attack on you. However, you're still in its attack zone, so it can't attack you when it's turned. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, um, um, I didn't write. I didn't write to have to move up. So it's gonna have to move up. I I want to be able to move twenty five feet back instead of thirty. Now I just, I'm just gonna disengage and back up. Then okay. I thought I was up. I thought I I misread the token on there. My bad. No. So you just want to move back just how far? Five feet out of its range or? Uh, thirty foot. Uh, thirty foot to put you. I'm, I'm backing yeah, out. Was, okay. So pretty, yeah. oh, I get you. So you are actually going back into the entry chamber. So you guys watch yeah. as Nailo, um, good see, plan. You know, five ten, yeah. As as she sort of moves, and I'm just gonna leave I, her right there. I'm limping away, holding my stomach in pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So that's Nailo. She sort of disengages and moves her way down. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are up to Mercy. As Mercy takes both of her blades, ready for an attack. Uh, seven miss, and an eight miss. Damn, she is not hitting at all tonight. She was hitting good earlier, nope. as she curses as her blades sort of bounce off the the static electricity, the lightning just ready to to rip, but unfortunately unable to to make contact through the thick hide of the hydra, as Hyacinth finds herself uh, up for for action. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I'm, um... Hmm. Well, I don't want to leave Mercy here alone. I also only have about seven hit points. And I also have a magical MacGuffin that could end the world in my pocket. So... You are um, priority. Huh? You are priority. No one will yeah, complain if you I'm leave. I'm going to disengage and just kind of dash way, way back this way. Okay. I just kind of moved you out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I moved me out too. <laughs> As you I'm pretty sure know. that was more than 30 feet, 5, or 40 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yep, you can put yourself and then, Okay. Yeah, then I don't have, well, I mean, I don't have any other bonus actions. Yep. It doesn't matter what I do at this yep. point. As the height, I need, anything else after you? I don't have... I don't have a bonus action dash right now, so it has to be my action. One second. Bonus actions. I didn't attack, so I don't have a... Thanks, okay, Troy. So yeah. Appreciate it, man. All right. Yeah, so... I'm just chilling back here, I guess. Actually, right. I'm going to move ten more feet back, back okay. than that. All right. <laughs> so the Hydra, seeing you go, completely yeah. ignores Mercy. Let me see. Here we go. Ah, shit. Wait. <laughs> Beside highest, it, neither was. Ah, shit. <laughs> As it comes stomping toward you, um, however, Mercy gets her free attack as it passes through her. Mm -hmm. As it's coming after Hyacinth. Cool. Um, it's Mercy, hammer. Rolls a, Mercy rolls a 20. Nice. And, Finally. And she gets the uh, five slashing mm -hmm. along with and four 1D4. lightning. Yep, along with four lightning. So she does um, nine um, points of damage. Is Parvisco's cool. hammer a war hammer or, a, uh, or um, just a normal hammer? I, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, no idea. Yep, but he, he didn't get... Uh, he does... Actually, he does because it went through. It passed by within five feet of him. Yeah. So he's gonna get his. He's gonna blast off a fireball attack. Eleven misses. All right. So Figly Crinklefoot, you are up, sir. Uh, okay. As you see the Hydra chasing after Nailo and and uh, Hyacinth, um, has entered into the chamber. Hyacinth, you are actually like, right at the doors. From where you're at, you are right at the doors. So you can actually, your next turn, you can actually get out of the doors. Mm -hmm. It right. want, seems to want the claw back. So like cool. everyone else is doing, Figley's dashing. Okay. He's going to... He five. To get right behind this pillar. <laughs> okay. He's gonna hide again. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me a give me a stealth or a hide in yeah. hide whatever it is. I wonder how how fast can this wyvern move, man? Or not oh, wyvern? That's five. Wyvern. Yes. So Figley firmly believes that he is baked into this stone, looking exactly like it to the point where nobody would ever notice him standing there. Yeah. At least that's what he nice. believes in his own head. Paviscro. Um, does, does he have anything additional to do besides the fireball? Because the fireball is pretty. Does he have time stop? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not a bonus spell for being a, a chronomancer? <laughs> no, the only thing he's really got, firebolt's like the only real thing that he's he's got. So let me... Uh, Another firebolt. 17 hits for nine more points of fire damage. As this one... Has he missed uh, yeah, any he, of his firebolts? He missed one. Yeah. As this one okay. appears to severely irritate the Hydra as it sort of stops and whips one of its heads around, seeing him there, kind of looking back, one head looking toward Hyacinth, one head looking toward... Uh, Pervisco, who seems to have pummeled it um, so well, um, but Nailo. Oh, okay. Um, oh shit! Is it how is that ten foot away or five foot away from me? It is ten feet. There's five feet between you and it. Hmm. Hmm. They can still attack me. Yep. Um. Oh, how far away to the doors to leave the entry hall? Um, you're about 10 to 15 feet away. Can it pass to the second set of doors? There is no second set of doors. 
Well, there's oh. the door to the, the, the temple, two, right? The two double doors entered into the temple, and then okay. it came into this entry foyer, and then there was at the at the end, end of the foyer was this black wall that was was a oh, wall that wasn't okay. a wall, and then that wall just sort of disappeared when you put the golden candle in. Okay, so we're just kind of okay, okay. in it now. Yeah. So we're in still. Is it safe to assume this hydra can fit through every door here, though? Um, it could yeah. if the doors were all the way open. Right now, they're only cracked enough to get one person about a human size, maybe a little bigger than human size. So it would have yeah. to stop to get the doors all the way open. Um, again, it would probably take a couple rounds for right. it to do that. Um, I have so much. Nilo is going to yell at the hyacinth. Uh, yeah. Keep running. Get out of the temple. That's and, my plan. Uh, uh, Nilo is going to put herself between Hyacinth and the Hydra and um, ready for ready to defend for a plus four AC. Okay. She's just gonna take the. Um... All right. Yeah. So mercy. Yep. So she's at twenty twenty two AC right now. All right. So where do you get that from? Plus four, I'm um, ready to defend. Or is that only a plus two? No, I'm just wondering where you get that from. I've never seen uh, It's that. one of the actions you can take. Instead of instead of attacking or doing the narrow action, you can instead hold your action ready to defend or something like that. Uh... It's been a long time since I've used it. Or it might not even be a bonus AC. It might be just a disadvantage well, against attack rolls. Well, I, um, I know there's feats and stuff that will allow you to do that. Um, you mean to take the dodge action? I might be it. Yeah, and, yeah. I, I think I might be sure trying. Might be taking the dodge though. action. And don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dodge, dodge action. Off. Dodge action. They attack disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, that that's the one I meant. That's the one I meant. It, everything else is just set to defend yep. or something like yep. that. Or full defense. Don't, don't forget. Also, you have savage attack too. So, where if you get a critical savage. Attack. Yeah, I haven't gotten a critical yet. Yeah. Oh, I did get a critical once. I forgot about that though. Yeah, so if you get a critical, you get or, I you think get another dice in addition to the double. Okay, cool. Just so Does you that know. automatically add that in? No, I don't think that adds it on your uh, on your dice roll. But anyway, so you are now taking the dodge action. So if it comes after you, it attacks at disadvantage. Mercy, on the other hand, is moving up behind. It did. You. What? Yeah, it did add it. Okay, we're okay. good. Yep, thank you, uh, folks out in chat. Definitely appreciate you keeping us on our toes with this. So mm -hmm. someday I'll learn the rules, but I just like to play. I don't care about rules. Rules, <laughs> rules, rules are for people that want to lose, right? All right. Mm -hmm. As yes, uh, Sean, we know this. <laughs> all right. As um, Mercy comes up with her two long swords, one of them again crackling with the electric energy. As the first one hits, hell yeah! As she does five slashing along with three additional lightning as that definitely hurt the creature as she does another eight hit points of damage nice. to it as her second blade comes in for attack. 11 misses as the Hydra Good. knows she's there as well. So Hyacinth, you are up. Hmm. Run! Yeah, I guess that's my plan. I guess I just run okay. out the temple. Okay. Like a, like at a hundred and like, wait no. If I double my movement for a dash. Yep. With my bonus action, and then also with my action, I get another forty feet. So one hundred and twenty feet. I can do math. Right. I just am a. There is a. Hyacinth-shaped cloud where I was. Hey, monkey man, I definitely appreciate uh, what uh, all you did tonight, and we will see you oh, yeah, Monday, sure. man. We'll see you Monday. Fun. Definitely appreciate it. Go stream or something, man. <laughs> That's what he usually does when he's not here gaming with us. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. All right. By the way, if you uh, if you ever look at monkey's uh, artwork, man, he does really good character portraits and stuff. So if you guys ever want one done for you, he does a really good job. He does our one e game. So if you see our one e game. 
he yeah. uh, he definitely does good work stuff. So, all right. So. Oh, Sean, we never showed off the sketch work. Oh well. That's okay. We're good. Um, but I do want to bring up in chat, don't forget, I talked about these guys earlier, and again, I normally have automated mm -hmm. shout-outs that you see going on during the game time, but the Grey League, if you have not seen the Grey League videos yet, go to YouTube, search on the Grey League, um, or uh, uh, Ornamir and his group, um, I think they're from France, or they're Europe somewhere, maybe it's Belgium, mm -hmm. but anyway, these guys are really, really good at what they do, they make videos strictly on Greyhawk content. Um, they really, they, they talk about the different races and like the human races like Flan and Sewell and Backlunish, etc. cetera. Um, I think they did one on the migrations and stuff on how the world sort of populated after the, the cataclysms and stuff. So it's really, really cool. A lot of the stuff That's they're fun. doing. Um, I'm definitely if you gonna, love lore. Yes. So if you like Greyhawk lore, they are a must go to group. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Um, anyway, back to the back to the action. Um, we are at who? We are at Hyacinth, and you are yeah, just going to you're going to take off out outside. Yeah. Okay. Anything I'm gonna else? Going to go. Gotcha. Nah, so you I'm guys watch. Go you guys fast. watch as Hyacinth. So Hyacinth, you get outside, um, and you can see <laughs> that uh, the sky itself has grown sort of dark and stormy looking as you guys as you sort of head outside. The wind beginning cool. to pick up, and the and the uh, leaves sort of swirling uh, like there's little mini hurricanes going on or tornadoes going on right about uh, ankle height um, as the, the leaves and stuff are all sort of spinning up. Um, as you get outside, your hair sort of whips around your face um, as you sort of turn to look over your shoulder, watching this massive hydra take a step toward, uh, toward you as it tries to get past um, uh, Nailo. Um, it does, first of all, it's going to do a one head attack is going to go at um, uh, at uh, Mercy. That's the first one. Twelve misses. Um, one bite is going to go at Figly. A uh, nine misses. Um, two heads are going to bite at Nailo. Uh, Twenty-three hits. There, one of them is at disadvantage. One of them, at least one is at disadvantage. I don't know if oh, all of them are at disadvantage, right. though. You're right. It, yeah. They are. It is at disadvantage. It's all attack. Yep. So we are going to re-roll for disadvantage and a 15. So the 15 misses. Nice. <clears throat> and then the second bite, yep. uh, the second bite at disadvantage, 17 misses as well. Um, yes. However, the Hydra gets past you, um, but it only stays like five. Um, if I dodge, do I still get a reaction yes. attack yes. opportunity? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, because that was your action it, yep, from last as, turn. Yep, as it goes past you. So go ahead and give me an attack. Natural 20. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. That, but it doesn't add it on. It, yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. Well, you have to do... you Because Savage Attacker is only if you get a critical. So uh, you could probably... Um, you have to roll you that separately. But you did a crit, so... So go ahead and roll. So okay, so just take the second roll. Just take the second roll there. This um, just take the seven as the um, savage attack and double the five. Right. Well, no. So so this yeah. So this one, it when they actually do it, they do a separate die roll. So they did um, a two yeah, yeah. eight plus five and was a seventeen. Yeah. So because normally you're so, uh, so do, do you wanna. Eight. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. We could just leave it on that. Seventeen. Just roll another die eight. You want? Give me a die eight. Okay. All right. Um. Because this this uh, is can... your critical, and then you just roll. Yeah. Can additional... you just bump a die eight on there? Roll it. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Yeah. Because I I can put in the code here, but you just yeah. got the button press there. Yep. Oh, uh, you got one additional. <laughs> so you did eighteen hit points of damage. As this thing comes past you, um, you like feel this surge of energy as you're like, not today, as you bring your sword down, cleaving right down into the body of this thing. Your blade sort of almost explodes uh, flesh around you as your hands literally plunge into mm -hmm. the. Uh, the body of the beast as it's coming by and you just shove down as hard as you can and you suddenly there's a sort of this roar um, as you apparently pierce some vital organ as you rip away the hydra begins to stumble and slip and slide backwards it's literally um, coming back to the point where it gets into the bridge 
Oh. Um, and it just sort of slip and slides right past Mercy and Figley as this thing slides back into the maelstrom. And you watch as this the, the thrashings throws and scream as the, the, the creature sort of fades away into nothingness as you manage to kill it. And the last, oh, yeah. the last possible instant as it was getting ready to burst through the front doors and go after your friend Hyacinth. Uh, I, was, Nilo in fairness, I was very far away. Yes. And, and... <laughs> How much HP did I have left, Sean? Seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so it would have been, well, been hilarious if it had seven. If it had um, eighteen health yeah. left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. There's no time for merry making. Let's get out of here. We don't know if it's a second one. Come on, come yeah. on, come on. Oh. Um, and as you guys are standing there, you feel you feel a rumble. You feel a rumble start to happen um, as inside the pillars and whatnot begin to shake slightly. As you guys find suddenly oh, no, plaster no. and rock start falling from the roof. Yeah, I was doing that too. Gotta go. to <laughs> I was doing the exact same thing too. I was humming uh, fucking go, go, go. Uh, Indiana Jones in my run, head. Run, 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 run. Alright, do we need our flex to run as fast as we can? As we you did. Guys get, as you guys get outside, you guys see Hyacinth is like down the road already. I'm like um, 100 feet away. Right. But, no. and, but as you guys get out there, um, just like I explained to Hyacinth, mm -hmm. as you guys get out there, you can see that. Um, out uh, uh, where it was, it was it was cloudy today. I mean, it's a cold day, um, regardless. Mm -hmm. It's in the teens and stuff. As you guys get blasted, however, by this frigid wind that sort of picks up and is blowing around everywhere. Overhead, you can see the clouds have begun to roll in with these thick black clouds of lightning beginning to strike. Um, every so often, you can see a, a bolt of lightning strike the ground um, outside or it strikes the water because you guys are on the lake. So in the distance, you can see Lake Vogue and you can see this lightning just sort of striking the water, causing it to s explode everywhere as you guys begin dashing your way um, out toward the, the front gates of Dagobah. I need everybody to give me a... Um, Give me a dexterity saving throw, each one of you, please. Hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the cheers, man. I definitely appreciate it. Um, uh, I think I'd like to use my inspiration for that one. Uh, Do it, my dude. Okay. Go ahead. Probably for the hey, that's funny. Yeah, hey. that's funny. All right, I still need. Uh, Lucky uh, now, man. I need one from uh, Nyla. What did you get? I uh, got a six. You got a my six. roll, my rolls are translating my current health pool right now. All right. As she's limping away. All right. So, so the first, so the first, as you guys go to to uh, to run out um, down the stairs, um, you're charging um, along, and I need to roll. I'm gonna roll. This is well. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it off of their sheets because it's much easier to do it off their sheets. Yeah. And dexterity is save and throw. Uh, 13, good to go. And now we need to do one for Viscro. Seven. He fails as well. So as you guys are charging out there, um, uh, Hyacinth, you're way ahead, everybody. Mercy and... What I do. Yeah, Mercy and Figley um, come charging out. However, Nilo and and um, uh, Pervisco, as they're coming out, the um, the rocks begin to fall around. The the place is shaking. They actually trip and fall and stumble down the stairs. Each one of them, each one of them suffering two hit points of bludgeoning damage as they trip and fall and go tumbling down these these massive cool. stone steps as they run all the way down. Um, you guys are Nilo now. Can still be up. Yes. You yep. should still be up. Yep. Um, Mathematically. As a, yes. Oh, as, a, as a yeah, you got one hit point left, right? Um, as you guys were charging out, um, you guys managed to to charge all all the way. Uh, where is it at? I forgot to close our combat. Sorry. Um, you mm -hmm. guys, you guys managed to. Um, you guys managed, out of time? Yeah, exactly. You guys charge out and. Dashing your way across um, 
you know, you're lightning striking um, outside, but nothing inside. But as you're running toward the gates to leave this place, you can see that the lightning is beginning to get closer and closer. I need another dexterity saving throw from everybody, please. Yep. Eh? 15 to 15. Nice. You do better for me. You got that, Avre? <laughs> yeah, Avery, that's yeah, right. Yeah, look at Avery that. knows what's up. Yep. You should just roll two die 20 and add their bonuses. Yeah. Make your life easier. Yeah, well, I can do it. Avery goes to the plus two, and then yes. Mercy's a plus three. Yes. Oh, cool. Mercy did not make them. Nope. And he made it. So the, don't it's, worry. It's I can still so I can still so survive one other mistake. Yep. <laughs> yep. So as you guys are, you get right toward the right toward the front gates, and as you mm -hmm. are um, exiting toward the front gates, oops, need to make sure her character say. As you guys are exiting the front gates of Dagavah, suddenly this huge blast of lightning strikes right at the gate, sending rocks shattering everywhere. One of these big, huge chunks catches. Um, uh, Mercy right in the shoulder, knocking her off her feet into the ground, and she yep. suffered the the two hit points of damage as she strikes the ground. But she scrambles to her feet, and you guys charge your way out of Dagava. Not even thirty seconds later, you watch as lightning sort of coalesces all around it as the storm clouds roll in, and they start blasting up all around Dagava, pretty much collapsing all the rest of the buildings and everything around it. You guys continue to charge on into the swamp, trying to follow the trail that originally led you in here. And probably mm -hmm. a half an hour later, you finally come to a rest as you're huffing and you're puffing and you're beaten and you're bloodied and you're bruised. But your task has been completed. Your mission has been oh, yeah. completed as you guys find yourselves shivering in the cold, in the frozen wastes of the northern reaches of Perrinland currently what do we want to do oh, what do we want to do uh... um do we have a dry seat do we have a dry ground here or is it are we it's, in our ankles of water um it's it's frozen it's semi water um where you guys are it's semi swampy as it was when you guys were coming in um mm -hmm. so the ground is hard all right um from the the snows and the and the permafrost um, from mm -hmm. being up north and being in the winter months as it is. Um, but you guys are... Is there a stump nearby? Um, yeah, yeah. So as you kind of search around, there's, uh, okay. there's remains of trees in the swamps and uh, mangrove trees and stuff like that um, that mm -hmm. are still here. It's just winter months. Right? She's going to... She's going to sit down on a stump mm -hmm. and she's going to look up at high and... Mm -hmm. oh, can you please help? Yeah, that's why you're not on one uh, hit point for sure. Gonna gonna um take off the curious, which isn't really that hard to do. But uh, she's, he has um a lot of bruises, probably more so than anything else, but probably a lot of scrapes too. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, give me a I'm in my feet. Give me a second. Here, we're gonna roll. I roll it. I don't know if it rolled it. I'm just gonna click on. See if that did it. Astral's being slow. Oh, there. <laughs> I'll click to roll one of these. Uh, nine. I do nice. a very good job packing oh. you up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm that's what I'm talking you. about. Next time I'm gonna be even better at healing when I get my class feats in order. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. We're Oh dear. Yeah. That's why. Alright. Took the healing feet. And then I get implement some mercy next next level at some point. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that worked out really well, guys. You guys are she crazy. says oh, yeah, we as, did it. as she's currently being patched up from one HP. Yeah. I think it couldn't yeah. have gone any better. Yeah, it definitely definitely no we didn't die. That's the important thing. Um, I have to I have to figure calculate or figure something out here really quick. If you guys would give me thirty seconds to give yourself a breather to discuss where what's the plan for getting home. <laughs> uh, 
Well, um, okay, so Wizard what Man I, threw us out here. Yeah, we're going to pretend that um, I know this area pretty well, apparently, because there's a map here. So we can always... It's about the same distance from Christchurch, it looks like, to Traft. And it only took us like a day or so to get there. Right. But I don't... So... Do you know the way back to Traft from here, though? I mean, north along the... You follow the... You follow the lake. And then it eventually leads up to a road. All right. How difficult that will be that will is do. going to be determined by my, probably my navigation checks, which I just remembered I have advantage on because I'm so very good at the pathfinding. Yes, you are. I know. I know yes, the you. way. So, what do we want to do? Very oh, that is good to know. So, we're going to go to Christchurch or are we going to go to Traft? Yeah, Christchurch is actually closer if you walk into yeah. the hills and, and up the hills instead of using the main roads and stuff like that. Yeah, if we want to just we, kind of we wanna... go straight to Christchurch, it's probably not even going to... I don't know how long it would be. It's uh, yeah, would be... It's, a, it's about a day. It's about a day travel from where you're at to get from Dagavok to Christchurch if you f don't follow the road. If you follow the road, it'd be like almost two days or a day and a half because you have to go north and then come back south. But if you go straight, yeah. east, straight east up into the hills, it's a little rough travel, half speed, but it's actually a little shorter. Um, yeah, we have options. We can always go over to Christchurch um, through the hills, which is, again, half speed, speed, but we would get there in a day. But if we follow road to Traft, it'll be like, how far, how much would it be? Because this road does not look road. Two days. It's, uh, it'll be about, it's about two days travel. Yeah, so on the main roads, yeah, I don't yeah, remember that right. much. Yeah, it's, if you were to stay on the roads, it's about the same time frame to get from from here to Traft as it is to Christchurch. But if you go yeah. if you go straight east up the hills, assuming you guys mm -hmm. don't encounter anything and don't run into any troubles, you guys mm -hmm. would easily get there in uh, probably less than a day. But it's just take it's a little bit rough travel because there's no real roads going from where you're at up yeah. into Christchurch. And we're probably we're almost certainly going to need a rest because um, I'm out of all things that I can I can I mean I can still punch of course because that's I need thing. sleep. Yeah, I need but some I think time. We all I need some time to properly bandage these up. Yeah, and recover I some think energy. We all need a long rest after what just happened to Diavatch. Um, so do we just want to take a long rest here, or do we want to go try to make it to Christchurch and then... No, we rest? do not want to take a long rest here. We, we want, want to... No. Yeah, where do, um, where do we how, how far do you think we are into the What time swamps? is it, DM? So, what time is it? So it's time? kind of hard to tell with, the, with all the clouds and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. you'd have to say it's probably before... It's before noon. You guys were only in there for a few hours that you know of, because remember... When you guys blasted mm -hmm. here, the sun was just coming up over the horizon. It is true, so, yeah. So you were only, it took you maybe four or five hours to search the place, so it's right around noon mm -hmm. time. Yeah. I mean, it's only I think noon. we should head east. Mm -hmm. You think we should head, head to the hills, Christ out of the swamp. Once we, hit, once we clear the swamps, then we can make camp for the evening. Okay. And wake up the okay. next morning ready to go. We're going to lose half a day of travel, but I think that's needed in this situation. Okay. I think so, too. So you're going to go then... straight east? Or you, uh, I just want to know, are you headed to Christchurch or are you going to end up going to Traft? Yeah, I think we're going to head to Christchurch. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. We're going to head to Christchurch, um, rest up in our brand new home. We'll continue in the and, yeah. uh well, I mean, it would take uh, like a whole day north. to get to Christchurch. Yes. So Not like a six-hour walk. I need, if I could get somebody to give me a um, a survival check with advantage, please. I think I have best survival still. All yeah, right. I've got yep. 19. Yep. So, um, with the amazing skills that the follower of the Wanderer um, has, you guys easily make your way out of Dagavok um, mm -hmm. to a safe place where you can have a long rest. Followed by that, the following day, right about 10 o'clock in the morning, 
you guys arrive at the gorgeous dwarf. Hell yeah. And to make matters even better, you guys arrive at the gorgeous dwarf ready to advance to third level. Yeah, oh. woohoo! We are gonna have to go back to trap because all our shit's there. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> but at least we're in we're yes. in safe ba, 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 safe ba, 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 ba. Yes. Not that we didn't almost die in this town, but like you know, less so, likely to die. In so that is where we are going to leave our game for this week. Thank you, everybody in chat that has hung out with us. It is bumbling and stumbling you, as this thing first started i definitely appreciate it what i am going to do now for those that hang out with us know that typically at the end of the game uh at any other D, &D game face to face mm -hmm. you never really just kill the game and walk away people usually hang out and shoot the breeze mm -hmm. for a while so what we're going to do is we're going to kick it into the after party mode and i'd like to welcome everybody to the after party once again i'm sean your dm host of this here conglomeration of uh, ne'er do wells and and good goody two shoes um, uh, mm -hmm. again, it was a good game tonight, guys. Good game. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, nobody died, although they got pretty darn close. Um, I definitely yeah, pretty appreciate darn close. Uh, I, I could take another two hits. Yeah. I no, you had one HP. Yeah. No, no, no. Cause, um, I can always survive one, one true. fatal blow. No, no. You have to make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Yeah. And then you so get you one hit point really back nothing. to come back. Yeah. Well, I appreciate uh, the kind do not believe words, it. Hager, man. When you reduce to zero HP but not killed, you can drop to one HP instead of instead once per long rest. No, uh, no con save. <laughs> I can I just I can only do it once a, once a long rest though. Yeah. So. So. Um, it's yeah. good though because my phone that's streaming Twitch right now just died. I was just about to die on me. I, I'm at three percent charge. Nice. It started at seventy. Oh. Nice. Well, um. Oh, see here we are. Oh, oh here we oh. are. Sean, yes. you should bring up the uh, the picture. Which picture? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah so, I don't know. Uh, let, me, let me repost it because that thing is fucking buried. Hold yeah. on, let me let me just repost it for you. Yeah. It's buried. I will try there it is. to do that. Okay, so you um, what you do is you just um, you bring up the picture and then when you bring up the chat, just share screen Discord only. Or you can um, repost it in Parentland campaign. There it is. All right, so. I'm, I'm just going to repost it entirely. Um, so uh, this here is supposed to be a, a, a um, old style, like, you know, journal sketch composition right. Right. that you might see from this time period of the finale, of the like introductory finale that we did with the werewolf. Um, it has Nilo, Halvard, uh, Lucius, and Hyacinth in it. Nice. The artist... The artist is uh, that her name is Buddy Monarte. You can find her on Twitter at at Buddy um, B U D D Y M A N A R T E. Right now their commissions go, are closed, guys. but you can. All right, dude. No worries. All right, have a good night, Austin. But you can uh, pick them up anytime. Um, mm -hmm. off of. Uh, Let's see if we can't shrink this down a little bit. You start commissions. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna bring this down a lot. So we can, can folks see that. Yeah. And I'm going to put it down below. I'm going to put it down below everybody. So that. Very cool. The there claw. There we go. The claw. Yep. So we that, got it. So that is, that is the picture that, that he is talking about. That's actually, it is good artwork, man. It is good, good stuff. I definitely. Think that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um this is the same artist that did my uh Nilo artwork. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I definitely uh definitely appreciate everybody hanging out in chat. Like I said, I know that most of the people that are probably watching that watching in our chat are actually our players, but those of you that hung out with us during the uh the whole mm -hmm. game, I appreciate you you hanging out with us. I hope you will catch us um every other Friday. Um, like I said, next Friday we're off, but we game the Friday after that. This is a bi-weekly game. But if you if you still want to watch some of us play, we actually have one of our players from this game who wasn't here tonight. Paviscro's character mm -hmm. actually plays in my first edition game, and mm -hmm. we play every Monday. Although this last Monday, for those that know, we had a little bit of a, a snafu that I couldn't get out of and, and at the last second couldn't game, and I felt really mm -hmm. bad. I hate 
I hate missing the streams uh, without some prior notice. But catch us yeah. every Monday night for first edition D&D. Our party is currently playing the Village of Homlet. They're in the Moat House right now. Well, they're not in the Moat House. They got Ooh. their ass, they're in, they got their asses kicked, and now they're back out of the Moat yeah, House for well. like the third time. <laughs> They didn't want them to die. What was in the yes, what yeah. was in the moat house again? I forgot. The moat house That's... was the bandits, and then down below were the uh, the evil doers. Yeah, well, yeah, we're not doing. Also ghouls. Oh, That's you came right. from, uh, you That's... Came from uh, Lord Gazumba's channel, man. That's very cool. That's pretty awesome. Very cool. So anyway, um, so hello, and thanks for coming to join our stream. Yep, absolutely, yeah, man. That's like I said. Jay's the whole reason that I got started streaming the in the first started. place, and he's the one that pushed me over the top for affiliate. And so we appreciate everything he does for, for the group and for the channel. But that being said, the group is not doing the Temple of Elemental Evil. They're only doing the Moat House. Um, our, one, yeah. our first edition game is called 1E One Shots. And basically, I just pick an adventure. We do the adventure. And then when they complete that, we pick another adventure and go there. There's no campaign type stuff um, other than if it happens to be in line with the game. So... Yes. Well, it's not Return to the Moat House. It's just, the, it's the original. It's the original. Yeah. Um, but like I said, all we're doing is uh, we do, in, instead of doing the whole campaign thing, like we do here, here the party as a home in Christchurch, they, they were actually gifted a house mm -hmm. that they're having expanded so everybody could have their own room. Um, so, you know. Remodeled and, to and, fit everybody. Exactly. And so, mm -hmm. you know, they leave here, they come back and stuff. So it's kind of like a base of operations. They know people here and things are starting to sort of develop in the campaign world where the party, um, they have a, a gnome mm -hmm. girl here that they're completely infatuated with, which is kind of funny, I think. Um, She's the best. Uh, yes, she's she's a gem. She's a gem, she's a gem. and Me may the gods have mercy on anyone yes. that touches her. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll bring our, down some hardcore mercy upon. Exactly. <laughs> but our first edition game is literally mm -hmm. we don't worry about hell. It could turn Isla into a paladin, right? The the mm -hmm. first edition game we don't we don't really have any kind of that normal campaign fluff. Mm -hmm. um, it's they go from adventure to adventure. Um, they complete the moat house the next time you don't know where they're going to be I know where they're going to be and since nobody's here that plays on my Monday night game anymore because monkey left and Adam's not here I'm taking them to keep on the borderland next and so mm -hmm. um, they should be um, if not if not very close to third level before they before they leave the moat house so we'll be going to keep on the borderland and then after that one who knows it all depends on what level they are but it's really it's not like, oh, we got to travel to get there or, hey, mm -hmm. this is going on and you were going to travel and, and do it. No, this is just we're going to, oh, we magically appeared over here. We don't care how we got there. We're just going to go there mm -hmm. and adventure. And so it's kind of a fun way to do it. Um, it's, it's kind of like uh, ad hoc adventuring. Uh -huh. um, exactly. It's a series of one-shots. Some of the best shots. ways to adventure. Yep. It's a series of one-shots with the same characters and the same players. Um, so, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's so far so good. So far, so good. You should so. do one in Raven's Roost just for me. What's that? You should do one in Ra Raven's Roost just for me. Mary. Raven's Roost. Yeah, that's the place Yeah, that was that where Mary was from? No, it wasn't Raven Roost. Or no, it was Rook Roost. Rook My Roost. apologies. Yes. Rook Roost. Rook Roost, yes. Raven's so Roost is a different thing. There are <laughs> actually, there's actually an adventure um, mm -hmm. that I really like. Um, uh, White Plume Mountain is right there mm -hmm. in the Bandit Kingdoms, and it's right north of Rook Roost. And yeah. they, um, as years went on and like 3.5 came along and they mm -hmm. started doing some of these return to adventures and there's actually a, um, uh, a side quest adventure, if you will, of a mm -hmm. drink -a -lich, um, that's right near White Plume Mountain. I always thought that'd be kind of cool to run to. So, I'm so yes. Saying. Yep, exactly. Yep. The Bandit Kingdom. And you know what? Maybe we can put oh, hey, uh, we'll put Mary there as like a fifteenth level rogue or something, or a fifteenth level thief or something. She's a, she's a bard. Yeah, well, maybe I'm gonna make her a thief. But <laughs> Got a you, can, you can throw some levels of. I eventually had planned to throw um, in at least one or two event levels of rogue just because it kind of made sense. Right. Well, two. It would be two. You don't just take one level of rogue. That's yeah. silly. Yeah. Like you take two, yeah. and then you can Sean, be done with it. What? Mm -hmm. Folks in chat, uh, purple knight, a uh, purple dragon knight, and rune knight. What are those? Those are new. Those are from a brand new book I haven't seen oh, yet. Oh yeah, so they actually have a um, mm -hmm. the new dragon, uh, all about dragons book. 
coming out. Uh, cool. I have not seen everything mm-hmm. that's in it, but there's supposed to be some cool stuff. There's like three, three books coming out that I need to get that mm-hmm. I haven't even pre-ordered yet. Um, mm-hmm. I have everything on D. Like I know what Psy Warrior is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I know what Psy Warrior is. I got like the basics of it. Where everyone's yeah, dragons. Fizz, Fizzman's Guide to Dragons or something like that, but yeah. So Fizzman being from the uh, um, uh, oh my gosh. Dragons of Winter, Dragons of Summer, mm-hmm. Dragonlance, thank you. Um, from Dragonlance and stuff. So um, it made sense that they would yeah, thanks guy. So that would that makes sense that they would uh, they would have the book Mm-hmm. be from him instead of somebody from forgotten realms or something like that so so yeah man so so anything bad about tonight's game that you didn't like there's a couple things i didn't like i hate no. when things drag um I, I really like to keep the action and, and the flow going but i always i didn't get... sleep the greatest so yeah. i'm just kind of I, was, I started out pretty <laughs> no okay, that's not even it for me for me the big okay, thing, go then I'll yeah for me the big thing was i hate having to track several different things at once and so i'm trying to track the characters and i'm trying to track you know, I've got several windows open to kind of track things uh, digitally and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times I, I need three monitors is what I need, but I only got room for two on my desk right now. Eventually I have room for three. Well, that's but... only that's only mostly going to be like a, a this time problem because we don't have two players. Yeah, that's true. Uh, sometimes it happens too. We got to figure out we got to figure out how to get hey, uh... Pr- Pr- like um like character sheet available to us because then I could run a character. Like, so actually. Yeah, I, well, I definitely there. appreciate you uh, you coming across over there, uh, Agamaran, um, just because, mm-hmm. you know, obviously we like to have new folks um, pass the word about our stream. Um, we appreciate the mm-hmm. follow. Hopefully you'll catch us the next time we stream 5E. Um, but again, if you mm-hmm. like 1E, catch us Monday night. Um, all the players will be there usually. Um, and this is actually a, 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 an oddity. We've had one player missing here or there, um, but very rarely yeah. have we had two players show up um, not playing. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm actually, I'm glad that, uh, Figley finally showed up. I was getting worried a little bit. Um, that's what I get for having kids. I got his attention. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, I know. He'll listen to you. He'll listen to you. He'll listen to Ed. He'll listen to Jacob. He doesn't listen to me though. He doesn't even live at home anymore and he still doesn't listen. Uh, um, to me. So, yeah. it's just a kid thing. What can you do? Yeah. Sean, I have a question. Mm-hmm. I will be traveling on Monday okay. and not able to spend my gross marks on your your campaign. Would you remember if I did, um, if I gave it to them on this stream, if I just used my gross marks now to give it to them? Sure. Or, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm that's gonna, totally fine. I would like to give your party a natural 20. Okay, sweet. Because I, I do have 3,000 gross marks, and I would watch, but I'm going to be at like the Dallas airport yeah. half the day. And then I'm going to be on a plane for yeah, You guys had two nat ones tonight. Day. Yeah, two nat ones that you didn't even need. And we, no, never, we didn't did, yeah, actually we never got... need them. Yep, you didn't need them. So I'm going to yeah, put so this on there, here give for your the... team. Yeah, give them a natural 20 for me. Because um, I won't be able to make it, unfortunately. I watched last time. I had a good time then. I just I'm, kind I'm of sat there. Watched, and... man, I really did. I mean, uh, that... it's, uh, it's, to me, it's just, um, it's, it's fun. It really is fun yeah. to, to have people oh, yeah. just to kind of hang out, to kind of watch, mm-hmm. you know. So, I mean, I don't care. If, I mean, sometimes mm-hmm. we've had 20, 30. I think the most we had was close to 100, and that's when Jay mm-hmm. sort of rated us. But on average, we get to like 20, mm-hmm. 20 people watching or whatever. Past couple streams mm-hmm. have been a little lower, but we haven't been consistent like I want to be. So I want to get a little yeah. – now that I've got everything kind of worked out. This new job was kicking my ass for a while, man. I didn't know if I was going to be prepared – for tonight or not, but fortunately it, it went mm-hmm. well. And I knew you guys were going to be close. At the oh, what do you level. do now? No, I, I work for Dutchie now. I still do software development, but I have a, the new company I work for mm-hmm. Dutchie. It's been like four weeks, but um, starting this week, I actually got put in charge of my own team. And my team is going to be responsible for building an entire new payment system for the company. So, Very cool. so we can handle ah, the pays and stuff. So, so you so. just have to... Do you start the show for, or be present for boring means or you don't for you're not needed oh, no. at all? Oh no, no dude. I am <laughs> I I actually have to learn an entire new programming language. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Ooh. So, so yeah. Um, so I went from something uh, uh, I've been programming in the past twenty years. Now I gotta learn a whole new programming language so I can help build this new system, so it's gonna be fun, but so but did, yeah, um, it's it's fun. Did the uh, one E game ever take on those uh, lizards? Uh, no, the Shockers, you mean? 
That's what you, yeah. you did. You said shockers. Yeah. No, they have. Yeah, yeah, shocker lizards. I was waiting for you to show up. Okay. So whenever you. Oh, I know. Uh, it's hard. It's hard for me to catch yeah. catch those streams. Yeah, but actually, um, it's it's funny because it's like I I have it planned exactly where they're gonna be now because mm -hmm. I have two two random encounters. Which, by the way, I did not do the random encounter raffle tonight because nobody signed up. But that's okay. Um, I think like one of them did at some uh, point. Really? I, I can did. sign up. I yeah, can sign I think up. it was a uh, M boogers. Monthly. Did he? I'm gonna have to. It was a some. long time ago. Yeah, I was yeah, actually. I, I didn't like see. Let me see my. Yep, monkey. My oh, crimson did too. So I didn't even see that. So let me do this. I'm gonna close the giveaway. I'm gonna pick the winner. And who is it? Yeah. Crimson. So I'm gonna. So let, I'm gonna let. Shane I um. He won. Mm -hmm. Um. Won the giveaway. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I saw somebody in chat do a couple of rant. I like yeah, a random. I apologize. Post. I never Pretty saw sure. him, but. So. Yeah, so anyway. Well, you have like eight things to manage, and I was yeah, like just waiting for right. things with this. So, so I'm I have going, plenty of time to check out. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll talk to, to Shane and let him know. But like I said, um, the. Um, God, kind of lost my train of thought now. What was I saying? Um, oh, so I have two. You were talking about the shocker lizards, yeah, and you know where they're going to be at. Two, two random encounters are set one's yours and one's Austin's. And um, I was going to run them last game. But they got their asses handed to them um, by a ghoul. Well, two ghouls, actually. And Monkey Booger's <laughs> character died. <laughs> I love ghouls. Oh, yeah. yep. I heard that. Monkey Booger's oh. character died. He got paralyzed. Which one died? Um, um, the half-orc. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, oh. Ookla. Ookla the uh, Ookla Khan um, died and because he got paralyzed. And the ghoul, rather than sit there and be attacked by the party, dragged him deeper into the twisting tunnels where they came from. And just since mm -hmm. he was paralyzed, just started chowing down on him. And it did like took him to negative 13 in the, in the one attack. And so he died. So in, yeah. in, my, in the 1E game, if you're zero, you're down. Negative 10, you're dead. And so he ended up dying unfortunately and the players were taking it kind of hard i was really really surprised Damn, that sucks um jonathan uh who plays um 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 kind of aylor aylor oh my god yeah man plays our cleric um yeah he actually posted on facebook uh, a tribute to ukla who died in the game and so i thought that was pretty cool but but yeah man yeah. it was uh it was pretty rough. That was the first time I've had a character die in a long time because I'm usually pro player. I usually give them, you know, chances and stuff like that to do mm -hmm. what they need to do. But this time it was just, it is what it is, you know. And so he ended mm -hmm. up dying. But he, he's coming back. Uh, last time what it, I know, I know Makaria died. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But Twice. They, yep. But they're bringing, uh, but they're, <laughs> he's coming. He's, yeah. Twice. Shut up. Yeah, he's coming in as a, uh, hey, man, appreciate you stopping by, dude. Yeah, we're getting ready to drop off. I usually run till about 12 o'clock. Uh, Have like a good I said, night. Like I said, we just kind of shoot the breeze. I'm trying to to milk uh, um, Jacob's phone for all it's worth yeah. um, before we let him go. So we appreciate you. I'm at 31% on my primary phone right now. Also, if you really like those streams <laughs> and want to watch our other ones, don't forget you can watch That's it. it on YouTube. That's it. All we're of on our YouTube. streams are on YouTube. Yep, we're on YouTube out there, so you can catch some of the other bumbling, stumbling stuff that also, I have. Also, follow us on Twitter today. for more updates. Hit yeah. that red subscribe button. I am going to hire you to be my marketing like manager. You can be your social media manager. That's it. You're going to be my social Hit media manager. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you, you keep up to date. <laughs> and it'll be fun. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that was fun, man. It was good. Yeah, it was um, pretty good time. So, I've seen a couple streamers, but uh, mostly the gamers, but, and stuff, but, they ha but they buy a little mini monitor just... It attaches to the main monitor or stands like up high, yes. and it's a it's really small. Yep. And they usually use it for their Twitch chat. Yep. For their Twitch chat. Yep. So actually, um, well, I haven't seen that, but um, I, I thought you're talking like the. Well, you could also possibly use that for the. Well, no, it's a it's just a little mini monitor about the size of a tablet, actually. Yeah. Um, but it's a little bit narrower. But yeah, it, it also work. It's. Right. Yeah, but it, it's it, but it's just big enough for. Uh, stream chat, but you could also put, say, um, a players that you could put their character sheet up there or something probably right. too. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. actually, there's some things that I wanted to do like, um, I want to put together like mini character sheets of y'all so I can put a rotating thing through so people could see, but I mean, I, I'm also 
the only reason I haven't put the D&D Beyond overlay back on is because mm -hmm. I, it's on for this game, but then I got to turn it off for the 1E game because it's the same stream. It uses the same stuff. Yeah. So I, did, I, I got tired of having to remember to, it's the same thing that I hate with uh, the chat or the uh, game schedule. Um, yeah. It's like, I can't put in every other week, right? I can go in on, on one of mine and schedule it every other week, but the one that shows on the, on the Twitch, it's like, oh, you put what time you're going, uh, what day of the week, and that's what it shows every single one. So every week I have to go in. So like for next Friday, I have to put vacation mm -hmm. time for next Friday so that this game shows is not being being there, right? So it's, it's just mm -hmm. little things like that. You can just right. um, put it down below. What's that? Like in in the uh, in the in the in the uh, description se section of the uh, stream, you can oh, just yeah, stick yeah. it down below. You can yeah, stick the entire schedule down there. I know, but a lot of times people come in and they just look, right? They look and say, "What time? When's the next stream coming? Oh, it's coming Friday or three days from now or whatever one they're looking at, right? Mm -hmm. So I just wish that they would give us a legitimate way to um, do a, a schedule, like a recurring, a true recurring schedule, like on a calendar. Mm -hmm. Where you can go, oh, it's going to be every other week on Monday or every other week on Friday, like I want to do. You know, it's just kind of mm -hmm. kind of bugs me. Yeah. So. yeah. The other thing you can do is is start the stream, say thirty, uh, fifteen, thirty minutes early, and just mute the stream. Yeah. Or, may, or just have background music, or so, and so people are notified of the stream early, and then yeah. they can come in. Yeah, well, that's why I do it. Like we do, we typically start ten minutes ahead of time, right? Now, I don't want to do it 30 minutes because I don't want to have, because when people go to watch it on YouTube, they got 30 minutes of freaking dead time that they got to scroll across in order to, to see the actual stream. Oh, well, the 30 minutes of dead time, <laughs> I just skip ahead. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm, learning <laughs> like I, more. I'm learning more, like, where we yeah. can edit. Like, I'm, I'm hoping people will start doing clips and put clips of our stream on here and stuff because I got it opened up where you can, like, remember you did the one? Everybody thought it was so funny about, you know, how the DM see this. And I took my camera and moved it over. You know, how does a DM see the hammer, what a hammer looks like or something like that? And I took my webcam and moved it over to show everybody. And I think it was you, Jacob, that got a clip of that. But yeah, stuff like that is just kind of cool. But um, yeah. Yeah, slowly but surely we'll get there. It's true. Well, guys, I got to go. What? It's Friday night. All right. You have a good night. You stay yeah. safe now. You guys stay safe, too. Stay I'll talk good. to you guys I'll see you guys next time. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be on vacation we're, next week. We're so. on Discord. So you can find us on mm -hmm. Discord, Kaylee. Nope. No worries. <laughs> right. You guys have a good night. Yep. All right, so we'll be you. here. Bye. See you later. All right, dude. So look, I, was, I got about six minutes left. I'm just going to put the stream ending for, for like six minutes. So um, that way I can <laughs> round it off to midnight. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. So. I would love to get a get a piece of everyone fighting the Hydra, but even even if I could have afforded it at the moment, there was no good picture I can get of it except um, I guess I could get everybody running away from it. Right. <laughs> right. Kind of run, bitch, run! Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought, run, forced run. I thought it was kind of funny myself. So. <gasps> Anyway. Like I, I half expected the Hydra to go after the Claw. That's what he was. Uh, to do. But it was, but it was coming after us first when they had the Claw on the other side. I, I guess never, it was like when no, it left it never the came platform. After you guys. It never came after you guys. It turned when you guys moved back toward the toward the entrance. It turned toward um, Hyacinth and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was when it. That was when it stopped. Is when we when we started to leave. That's when it started to go yeah. back the other way. Yeah, no, and it went. Back um, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, well, it went after Hyacinth and Figley, and then when Hyacinth came running down to you guys, then that's when it turned and started coming after her. And as you guys are backing out, it was fully intent the whole time of blocking you guys from leaving, um, because you had the claw. So, gotcha. Um, so we never actually covered what happened to Dagobah, but like, was it completely destroyed by the lightning? Oh no! If you were to go back there, it, I mean, it got struck by lightning, and a lot of the buildings collapsed, and um, the inside of the temple will be destroyed. Um, but it'll still be there. 
half sunken and stuff like that. Sweet. All right, that's the future. That's a future um, stronghold for her family. <laughs> okay. okay. The Hun the Hundars will have their own stronghold now. Okay, if you say so. The ha the half work from the Elvish tribe. I I when I I forgot to tell Buddy to draw her with tusk. I meant to do that. I got the art. I'm like, ah oh, hell. I meant to have her have her do that. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, no. Now we just gotta figure out what's next. What's next? Well, first is sleep. Mm -hmm. She's gonna take an afternoon nap. Okay, she's probably going to eat for first, then take an afternoon nap. <laughs> then then eat after getting back up from the afternoon nap. Right. I don't care what the rest of them do. <laughs> All right. To uh, it has... Sweet. We got four people going to Cider Fest. Hell yeah. That's going to be the, the hotel room's only going to be 100 bucks each. Yeah, it says, the final description to the character should be of the citadel crumbling in upon itself into a pit from which the Hydra came. All of that is left is a deep, dark, and terrifying hole in the ground. From the hole can be heard the screams of a thousand lost souls awaiting rebirth. At this, the characters flee the city, knowing that one day they may need to return now that the black hole has been uncovered. But for now, they must do what they need to do with the wyvern's claw. Ooh. I still find it hilarious I managed to <laughs> Oh um so was the How do you want to handle crits It was the perfect but how do you want to handle crits So I get an extra die That's exactly um, what handles when you When you do savage Okay alright Right it's exactly how Alright right, so, so I just crit, simply It's a regular crit where we double damage With an extra die And then okay. for that you get an extra die After it that doesn't get doubled It's just an extra die Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I should not need Avery again. Um, no, I think I, I was pushing my computer. I, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I was going to take my computer in today, but the guy never answered the phone, so I'm going to have to wait yeah. Um, till tomorrow. But, yeah, I, hopefully I won't need her again. But, yeah, I, I've used Avery to run my other uh, the 5e game that I run personally with other people. Um, I use it all the time. So I more or less knew the codes for Beyond and stuff like that. The complication for Avery... Oh, shit. Am I dead? Nope. But I'm going to be... Nope. Okay. I am going to be gone because... I the compli... Go ahead. All right. I'll let you finish. Uh, the off. complication with Avery comes... Yeah, the complication with Avery comes when you're, uh, you're running initiative and combat in the text chat. Yeah. Um... You have to tar you have to identify who you're using, and tar and identify who you're targeting. Yeah. And then specify what you're doing, and that there is a um is a exclamation, I, a, your character name, dash T, the enemy, Oof. and then after the enemy, you put. The um the, the the action that you're doing. So say long sword. I would think it would be like long sword at the end or something like that. Right. And it really drags out. Yeah. But for this here, I, I was just rolling, rolling, and with the sheet on, I just, I just, uh, as you saw, I could figure out exactly what I needed to do to get that roll in there. Exactly. All right, dude. I'm gonna jet. Time to time to end the stream. Anybody out All there right. in the interwebs, we appreciate you hanging out with us. 